know, doing live streams and in the drama community. Like he starts doing what Virginia does and just like jumping on everybody's live stream, anybody that that's going live and, and just flooding over there. You know, one minute he keeps flip flopping. See, that's the problem. <laughs> you know, he can't make up his mind if he's going to accuse me of uh, getting paid to be on YouTube or trying. Like he doesn't like it's insane. So I'm trying, he needs Nerve Gorilla to help him out. If you look at his most recent videos, you know, he's got one of my playlists on there. You know, Conspiracy Undergrounds, Evidence Wars. And I made a playlist about Abe, too, you know, because he, he's being lol cowed. He's scared of Nerve Gorilla, so he that's why he does, he's not a leader. You know, he doesn't have the capability to lead at all. He's a follower. And I kept trying to tell these guys, see, look, either lead, follow, or get out of the way. About three days ago, he made this video. Conf right. It's the, the hypocrisy of targeted pad ass. I can't believe this shit. You know, as soon as as soon as uh, TI News stops, um, you know, doing live streams and in the drama community, like he starts doing what Virginia does and just like jumping on everybody's live stream, anybody that that's going live and, and just flooding them over there. You know, one minute he keeps flip flopping. See, that's the problem. I ain't flip flopping shit. You know, he can't make up his mind if he's going to accuse me of uh, getting paid to be on YouTube. Or I'm just asking questions, to, Donovan. Like, he doesn't, like, it's insane. That's so I'm trying, he needs Nerve Gorilla to help him out. If you look at his most recent videos, you know, he's got one of my playlists on there. Yeah, that's you know, not for long. Underground's that's, Evidence Wars. That's going to go. For sure. And I made a playlist about Abe, too, you know, because he's being... Yeah, those are getting, those are getting deleted, for sure. I'm done playing He's scared of Nerve Gorilla, so he, that's why he does, he's not a leader. Oh, I ain't scared of Nerve Gorilla. I know what Nerve Gorilla is. I know what he does. I'm he not doesn't leading. have the capability to lead at all. He's a follower. Oh, no? Who am I following? And I kept trying to tell these guys. Who am I following like, there, Donovan? Either lead, follow, or get out of the way. Who am I following, buddy? I'm coming up with this About on my own. About three days ago, he made this video. Confirmed perpetrator. Conspiracy underground. Fake TI. Yeah, well, that's... That's all you. I know. And then he's, you know... And then I'm and deleting them, to be of, honest. Um, and I'm, I'll explain why I'm deleting them. You know he's fake, right? Like, so, see? I've been saying that I'm fake. Well, then what is now. Then what is Ed? What is Jesus Christ if I'm fake? What is that? He's already proven it. He's the one doxing motherfuckers. My I gang stalkers. My gang stalkers, yeah. My gang stalkers. And then you go right back to validating his bullshit claims after he threatened to dox you. He said he's going to do a background check on you. Who? And he's going to post all your criminal records online, including all your jail mug shots. And, you said that and there is no jail, jail mug records, shots. They don't exist. They don't, they don't exist. That. <laughs> that's why they use my ID in the picture that's online. When you look up my name, there's no fucking jail mug shots of me. They, they don't exist. Well, here you go again, you know. Here I go Validating, again, um. Validating what? The guy that you just called out for being fake. Yeah, I know, and I apologize to him. I said I call it how I'm I see so it. Sure. That's it. That's Conspiracy it. Conspiracy Underground is a perp. He hit the nail on the head with just about every point he made in this video. He did. What the fuck? I'm not Didn't I just to... teach you? Didn't I, I fucking, like, I proved to you, like, you how many to fucking me. times already? You proved to me what you are, Donovan. You deleted my comments. I'm trying to join the conversation to correct the misinformation that I was seeing. So isn't it funny? But as soon as I started chatting, the stream mysteriously shut down. Isn't it funny that and this you, per, this you know, live quit stream my shit again, just like you always do? Because quit your shit. What are you talking? You don't about? have any content. Oh, I don't. Okay. I was talking to your brother earlier. You you got all the content, Donovan, right? 
<laughs> it's just only the problem that you have is that you, you, you I expose motherfuckers. You, you have a hard time showing evidence. Instead, you just make these these, Do I? these premieres. Do I? What about all the evidence of my brother? You know, sit around. What about all the yeah, evidence of my brother? Confirmed perpetrator. Confirmed perpetrator. Fake T.I. Fake T.I. You just deny evidence. Like and Conspiracy Underground flops. said. Deny evidence. And you go right back to validating what? Mr. What, what you just called a fake T.I. I call it how I see it. And yeah, clickbait. Yeah, the, it works to get views, doesn't it? It's called clickbait. <laughs> so now we're gonna. We're gonna analyze the information and address it and then let the viewers be the judge. How about that? I'm not going to say who's real and who's fake. I'm done with that shit. But I'm going to show what I see and let the viewers make their own decision. How about that? I'm not going to say what you are, I Donovan. You come up, but you people usually never do. Instead, you just uh, talk shit about me behind my back. I come up, Donovan. See, this is the, I'm watching this back now. I yeah, come up and chat the entire fucking stream, and you ignored me the entire oh, stream. I, I told you, I told you, I, I was gonna go live as soon as I got back. There it is. So they tried to get this one in without me um, noticing it. You know what I mean? The Super Hope Bros. My name is Conspiracy Underground, and I get more one headlights and kick license plates and all you. Black Apache helicopters flying over my head every day. So, you guys. I was in a secret military program. Your days are numbered. I don't seriously. Even know what the name of the dang program is. Conspiracy Underground. Oh yeah. The shit show is that you guys can't come up with this on your own. You, you I'm have, a fake paid perp. You have handlers. I'm paid and. $5,000 Visa gift cards. You know what's sad? I ain't even a legal immigrant. That's why I ain't got no Dodge Charger and I ain't got no Chevy Silverado lowrider pickup truck. See, I can't even pause this. It won't let me pause it. <laughs> but, I'm just mocking these. But you know what the government has done for, like for a long, do. long time? They put the truth yeah, right in your trolled. face. They tell Driven. you the truth they, um, they tell you the truth right off the line and then well, well, well look who shows up then they make the truth sound so ridiculous <laughs> that people don't <laughs> believe up, it bro hey how you doing i'm doing all right okay uh, i was wondering if you could hear me or not yeah i could hear you just fine all right cool it's time for a beer sandwich we'll cheers. see <laughs> we'll see <laughs> what what everybody else has to say about about this oh uh, i did <laughs> ice cold frosty brewski we'll let you, um, you drinking the truth so, will speak um, for itself. It's a 90 minute Imperial IPA made by uh, Dogfish Head. Oh, I, I used minute. to like IPAs, but they're a little bit strong for me. Yeah, they give me a nasty headache, you know, sometimes. Yep. If I drink too many of them, God dang it. I'd be sick for like three days. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, these guys drove me. Johnny drove me to drinking. I felt sorry for him. <laughs> I uh, actually just told him. Told John last night I quit drinking uh, probably about two weeks ago. Two weeks? Yeah, wow. I just felt really bad for him. Pat, like, oh, pat yourself geez. on the back. You know, like, he got brainwashed. By who? I finally figured out who brainwashed him. By who? Will Orth. Yeah, yeah, he was the one. Dude, I haven't talked to fucking Will yeah, Orth. Right off the bat, I whenever can, I first can tell you how saw long. him on there doing that stuff and he was going on Will's <laughs> streams, I'm like, these guys are just trolling him. And it's funny. Yeah, um, you know that lady, Scotty? Like, no. I've been watching her channel for a while. Oh, She's Scotty. the one that told me that Will was in a Facebook group that was suicide trolling her and trying to get her fired from her job. And she said that, her. but do you know that to be true? Jesus. Where's your source yeah, of she information? Was working at, you know, she was working at Burger King and they doxed her job and they, they, made, they made her quit. What's your source of information? Man. Where'd you learn that? Ed, you and just believe that, right, It got right, so Ed? bad that, um, you know, she was the one that took Tammy Hess to court. She tried to get a restraining order on her, but then Tammy Hess fucking weaseled her way out of court. Because she was too fat to go to court, like she has medical problems, and so 
they threw it out. They dismissed the case. The hypocrisy is so. Is what that was all the drama community crazy. or what? Yeah, it's a crazy. drama community. That all started with um Jamie Lycan Legion Lycan Theory. Have you heard of that guy? I've heard the name, but I'm not real familiar. Yeah, just type in Lycan Legion, and there's like all kinds of stuff. He's the guy that started this whole drama community. So him and Sarah Barrett, they're the main ones. I could I'm gonna drop all the names right now. Let's start with uh, Lycan Legion. Um, Sarah Barrett. She's like a failed Hollywood actor that never made it in Hollywood. And so she started doing this YouTube drama. She was making like hundreds of thousand dollars off of this shit. You was know, she really? Super chat, super chat donations. Dude, I talked to her one time one ever of it called like Drama After Dark or something like that? Yeah, yeah, that's Sarah. That's Sarah. Okay. She's the one that taught uh, Will how to set up um, his uh, stream yards and, you know, and get buy subscribers, get the channel monetized. And then um, once they get it monetized and all these people start, you know, watching it, they have like 2,000 million subscribers. That's when they start, you know, pulling out the super chats. And I was able to stop them before they even got that far because um, right, cause they were doxing channel, me. Isn't your channel monetized? Doxing all my shit, making up shit that isn't true. You know, I was filing strikes on them for that. And I nailed them a couple of times for, uh, for doxing me. <laughs> and then they still go right back to that shit, you know. You know, some of these people are from Kiwi Farms. Like Tammy, she's straight from Kiwi Farms. That's like the worst place. It's horrible. You know, that they, they they literally uh, drive people to suicide. I mean, they've been sued. You know, they've been driven off the net. They even had a Russian server for a minute. Man. I mean, I'm a funny guy. I like to troll people and stuff like that. But that's a little too far. The shit that they did with Dana Kane, that's that's when I had to draw. I had to do something, you know, because... um. I was there the night that um, J-Rom called the cops and they got her thrown in jail. And they, they sent her to the psycho tank. She got put in the hospital. Oh, man. And, yeah, you know, she she is, you know, she was kind of, you know, hard to handle back then. But Maybe she did better that now. She was too ashamed of it. They did it again she when she, she was at the Grand Canyon. You know, they waited for her to get drunk, stupid, start doing these drunk live streams like what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. And then they call the cops. You know, that's going real, real life. The people that go real life, the first one that go real life is the one who calls the police, calls 911 and says something like, um, you know, like John Hofer suicidal. He's drunk on, you know, and then they send the cops and they swat him and you get shot up by the cops. You know, that's how bad it could get. Why would you put that? Yeah, Why would could. you say that, dude? I'm not saying that. somebody's all paranoid like that and oh, is this someone's a threat? Just pounding on their door. Is this a threat? They're going to barricade themselves in with a gun and do something crazy. You See? Know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where Nerve Gorilla wow. steps in. That's where Nerve Gorilla steps in. Yeah. Um, See, they just he tell thinks the truth. that some of these people, you know, they, they really would. You know, lash out at somebody thinking that um, because they keep spreading this because misinformation. You, That's what it is. It's because misinformation. Of this, right here. Tons they made, of it. Yeah, they made up Tons this story it. that I'm getting paid in gift cards to be on YouTube. Everything I've said <laughs> is true. Everything I've said is true. Oh, 100%. man. The first time I ever heard about gang stalking, John showed up on my house. And, well, I had already seen his videos a couple yeah. times, right? And then he came and tried to talk to because me. Because I suspected oh, wait, him of back. being involved he already. He did show up my house tried to talk about it and i'm just like dude that's just a bunch of dumb bullshit but he already knew about it i used to be into conspiracy theories and shit like so that he back already in the knew what gang stalking and he was knew that. didn't he and he shows up and he's like you were right all along and i'm like no dude i was really wrong <laughs> so like right. it was gang just stalking like, doesn't my exist eyes at him and i'm thinking man i really he's just going on and on and on and on and it's like, I don't want to listen to this Dude, shit. Dude, 30 seconds. Yeah, that's my... Uh, 30 seconds and you really took off. You got uncomfortable and took off. Him, you know, I don't want to pick on him. And He's been bullied enough his whole life. I I've been bullied. Yeah. I laugh at yeah, what he, you guys yeah, say. He gets it for most places he goes. No, I don't. You seem if it is, no, I don't. Right, in, right in his face, it's like as soon as he walks out, everyone's laughing at him, you know? No, they aren't. What are you talking about? You won't step foot out of your house, Ed. I just got He said he's done trying to figure out who's playing games. I guess he's upset now. And then you're going to finish um, the comment? Are you gonna, are you gonna, you know, I'm just investigating. That's all I'm doing. Are you going to finish the comment? I invited him numerous times. You know? Nope. Come you on, didn't John, finish. let's talk about this. You won't finish yeah. the comment, will you? I don't want to hate on you guys forever. I just don't have it into me to be, you know, angry and hateful. No, you're getting paid. Like even Will, you know, like, because I felt bad for Will, too, because of what Tammy Hess did to him. She doxed all his, his entire friggin' neighborhood names and numbers and like his neighbors everybody all the you kids too bad i thought no that that's just you wouldn't be doing that's this just evil you know like you can't do that you know 
Yeah, that can. puts them in danger, you know, like they could be getting pizza sent to their house. Consequences and, of actions, you so, know what it is. Like, like Alex Dark. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's and they funny. don't deserve that. Those are all, they had they no, no idea that any of this stuff was going on with one of the neighbors, you know, that he was, he was pissing people off on the internet. And the next thing you know, there's people showing up. Like what Tammy was, see, Tammy did that to herself, you know, she did something. She pissed off somebody on Kiwi Farms, and they sent somebody over to her house. And she tried to blame I Will it. for that. She tried to blame Brutal Mafia for that. I All these it. other guys, and they had nothing to do with it. Like, even Brutally Lauren, she wasn't even online for months, and they, they were doxing her. And Like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't help but say it, but this has gone yeah. on. Too. I've been fighting these guys for the last three years now. What's crazy is... Yeah, it was always... Funny to me, the irony of it all. Uh, like, no, if you're something, worried that you know, you're being stalked, why would you be posting so much personal information on the internet? You're reading from a yeah, script, not dude. You, not you, like John, for example. It's like he, he would always put like where he lives, what he's doing. You know, no, just, I didn't. It never made sense to me. Like, if you were worried about being stalked, why would you just give the 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 so-called stalkers all the information they need so they already have yeah, it he used to use his real name they already have it mm -hmm. i used to do that too but it was because my life was actually in danger and i, I was about to get snuffed what do you know about john Patton? Ed? like the long, longer i stayed out there because i'd literally been driven out of my house this is funny like like, like seven funny. years ago because of when trump got elected you know that made everybody fucking go nuts no, the FBI yeah, did that. Yeah, it's a wild thing. It's like, uh, I got into uh, doing, like, fact checks and stuff like that because a lot of people yep. were sharing misinformation all the time. Uh, but you call and misinformation. So that's how I, like, really <laughs> gravitated toward Nerve because he does kind of the same thing. Yeah, I actually talked with Spreads him several misinformation, times. Like, he was right? on my ass, too, just like everybody else. And then when I finally realized that, oh... I'm doing dumb things. I'm make, making a lot of mistakes. Like oh, he the fixed, first mistake, he, he biggest fixed you, mistake, right? most obvious one was he the way you. I was recording. I was recording. Vertically. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Duh. Neither did I. Neither did I. <laughs> Neither did I. It, look, it looks just so much better when it's you know horizontal, and then you can yep. see what, like duh duh duh. And when I finally figured that out, I realized you know what? If anything. You know, he's just a smart guy that, that likes to troll people because he thinks it's fun or funny. Yeah, but he's, he's not too, a cop. He's, he's not an agent. You he's don't know that. that stuff. How do you know that? Right. I talked to them and I realized, you know, he's all right. You don't know that. You know, he's not he's trying to hurt these guys. He he's, he's actually no. thinks that some of these he people... He sends SWAT really to their house. Nice. He gets them fired not, from their you know, jobs. Like, right. right. Did he ever tell you the story about uh, whenever he was young, there was... Uh, killer came to the apartment complex where he lived and killed people this is interesting no no i didn't ask him about very that interesting one. yeah uh and i mean i asked him if it's true and he said yeah but uh it, like basically you believe he him. said something along the lines of his mom had seen the guy like right before he the guy went and killed people in his apartment apartment complex he should be in oh, that protection have, right that might have been a, yeah that might have tripped him off that might have made, made him turn him into a Witness protection? Made him feel like he's got to do something, you know, to try to prevent something terrible. A little bit of a, a vigilante, you know? I've made the connection from this gang sort stalkers of, and witness protection know, like, before. Because, um, like that guy, Adonis Paul, you know, he's just, he's, you know, like, he's harmless, really. But um, he says that he has a daughter, you know, he, he and he was he was disgusted by this guy, by perverts, you know? like And he didn't want his daughter to be exposed to people like that. So that's why he's doing his anti pedal thing going after James Robert Clark. And I didn't know that James was, like, mentally deranged. Like, there's something wrong with his fucking brain, like, because of the way his head's shaped. And Nerve Girl has said something about it, about Frenon. A deformed head, and I think that has something to do with um, why he's so dumb and posts such dumb shit on the internet so that the trolls really will find it and then make fun of him. Like for years and years and years, and he's been fifty. He's been sent off. He's been sent to the cycle tank too, and you know, like he's he's actually facing charges for stalking and harassment and he uh, is. menacing. He is Isn't because that funny? they tried to get him help and they put him in the mental health system. They tried and to get him uh, help. He didn't like it, and then he started threatening his therapist. It's and the same thing. Doxing all their attributes. It was insane. The same thing, yeah. right? 
Ed that's, just, what, also, that's what kind of bad shit can happen, you know. Ed just wants to help All you have me, to right? do is type in um, James Robert Clark on YouTube, and then boom, all this shit pops up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just wild. Nuts. A lot of he's wild women out there. Yeah, he, he's he's a real pervert too, because he's dumb. You know, he's dumb, like conspiracy underground. You know, like he's that kind of dumb. Like he yeah. might do something. Like the shit they were doing to me, you know, like they were trying to um propaganda. Some of the shit they were doing was literally gonna get me killed by like a motorcycle gang. Oh really? Oh man. Because yeah. they were going around telling people that I'm a paid hitman that gets paid money to kill people. They told they were telling people Angels I was Angels Bill Falls gonna get the hell's angels after you. They were telling people I was a narc. Oh, that for was the something FBI. else too. That was, that was, <laughs> he that was flying their colors and he's not even that don't even have the top and bottom rocker. Yeah, he walked into a bu- the wrong bar or the wrong time with that on. He's going to be in trouble. And that's something I don't want to be a part of, you know, like, because, like, all I know about them is they're just a motorcycle mm-hmm. club, you know. Like, if you ain't got no motorcycle, then you can't be in the club. And his buddy Will said that, well, he does have a motorcycle, but he picked it up at a drunk yard, and it's, like, not even running or anything. It's, it's a yard piece. And he turned out to be on drugs. Like, they, they finally, oh, really? um, they caught him being on drugs and Dana told on him. So you could just say all yeah, this. Yeah, it's ob- obvious he's a tweaker. It's, all, it's obvious. Yeah, right? Dana was the one that, she went real life with these guys and she was hanging out with Will. They were partying. They were doing all these live streams. And John was on there. It looked like he was, you know, cracking open a beer just you know, for solidarity. Is that what it looked like? Mm-hmm. And they were um, accusing me and my friend of nefarious <laughs> things. Like they were accusing us things. of... Um, Oh, show, show us, show us. Being this. in a Facebook group, like, show us this live stream. Stalking. They're accusing us of being the actual gang stalker. Show us this live stream around. because I never did that. Yeah. You're a liar. It was sad, you know, it was sad. And once I figured out how bad it really was. What's sad is what you're doing right it now. It started out like this. I was just That's minding sad. my own business. Yeah, right. You know, I had a small YouTube channel. Yeah, only right. Like 45 subscribers on it. What What was it about? And then um, about I what? noticed I saw this guy on facebook he was posting in all the groups everywhere he was posting all this shit about sharing he was, oh like, he was selling t-shirts the truth comes out like what coach j rom does and tammy Hiss. you know they do that teespring crap i didn't pay enough attention to their stuff to know what the hell they were doing yeah because uh, it finally happened to them back you know people started doing it to them back you know like it happened to tammy Hess too and there's a tammy Hess mug coffee mug for sale <laughs> I gotta buy that. That's the her real big on the couch. Well, that's the one where they took her Facebook avatar and put it on a fat body and kind of made the forehead look big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I, I tell people don't you know don't make Facebook avatars you know don't use that <clears throat> AI shit <clears throat> because something like that could happen if you piss somebody off. Yeah, you know, there's artists out there that are good with Photoshop. Yeah, they could gang stalk you. Right. I saw what you were doing. That cracked me up. That was funny. I'm trying to teach these guys something. See, these guys keep making mistakes. Saw what where, you were um, doing. They're he inviting said, that into their life. He was a gangstalker. You know, by being low cows. That's that's what they are. They're called low cows. In my town. I've been warning these guys for years. It's not and an years internet and years. thing. You guys really got to be careful about what kind of stuff you guys are posting on the internet because um because you what? know the majority. You know, if there's a majority that sees that, you know, you guys are just cringe, 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 you know, they're going to make fun of you. You know, the internet is not a nice place. G- Even Nerve Grill explained that. I don't give shit. a shit. You know, that's, they're going to send pizzas to your house, you know, or you're going to end up like King Cobra. You I know, like pizza. Be, cops will be banging on your door doing welfare checks. Bring King it on. The guy's a weird looking mother. Bring it on. Oh, he's a slob. <laughs> he's, a, he's an abomination. He's just a disgusting. He, he just stinks, you know, like. How do you know? I just see him come up on a feed. I never really watch any of his videos. No, he's on Burger Boy. I was just going to say, that's where I saw him on Burger Boys. Yeah, he's one of those guys that he just makes fun of these people. You know, they don't know it. They don't even know that they're being made fun of. That's a sad thing. It's because they control the information. Because he used to post a lot of Dana Kane stuff and all the TI, everybody that was on TI News ended up on Burger Boy. And when he started sharing my videos, along on with his every channel, other TI, that's when all the all of a sudden, every time he did that, there'd be a wave of trolls like, like telling me to kill myself and shit and fucking, you're insane, you know, like if that was me, I I would do this to you. And yeah, it's like Burger Boy was like a catalyst like, for all the trolls to know where to go. They're like, Ed. and then when I did some research on Just him, like I found Ed. out that he's actually from Kiwi Farms. He's a Kiwi farmer. And he's yeah, got did three. you see his interview with Nerf? Yeah. The, 
that was kind of weird. I, I did take a call, small clip of that because of his, his glorious laugh. You know, like he's famous yeah, I, for the way he laughs. Oh, yeah. 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 So he <laughs> These guys are weird. Fucking right yeah. they are. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say about his laugh whenever I was on there. I was like, oh, man, he sounds a little a little bit crazy. <laughs> and it's set, and he's, it's he's set up, He's a kiwi farmer. He's a kiwi farmer. It's set up like, it's like the worst Bill place Hendry. to end up at. You know, so Kiwi Farms, is it like a website or what? Yeah, it used oh, to be on. public. It used to be public um, where anybody could get on there. Mm-hmm. But when they started having legal problems, you know, people were suing them because they were doxing people and like several people killed themselves after seeing that they had, you know, they were being laughed at and made fun of and trolled. Did they kill themselves? That's the, that's the new thing. That was a new thing for the last, um, you know, about four years, four or five years now. Was, I'll um, never kill cows. myself. Never. Low cows. A low cow would be somebody like, um, it's hard to explain, you know, laughing out loud. Not. Because they yeah. could be they could be exploited for laughs. Yeah, they're mo milking them for laughs. Yep, milking these people for laughs yeah, and for knows right. all about it. And that's what Will's doing to John. No, yeah, that's not. what he's doing the whole time. Because when he started that channel, oh, you're it saying was Will's doing the it? Ti show, and it wasn't Ti news. It was called the T. I still got the the, the original thumbnails for all that. Maybe he you know, is thumbnails from the, when he only had like. Barely a hundred, not even a hundred subscribers. No, and he made that channel to make fun of Sharon. Hensley, because he was he was part of a group that was suicide killing her. The patent perks. They're trying to um, literally drive her to suicide. Was my brother absolutely? Because um. Yeah, that goes over the line when they do that. Yeah, that goes back another few years. Like for her, that that went back seven years, and now it's been like t almost ten years now. What did I say? Jesus and, uh, Christ is my this, brother. This, for these how are long? part of a group. How they're, long they're did Hollywood I say this? gang stalkers. Um, Sarah and Susie were part of a group called the Wolf Pack, and they were the ones that were uh, suicide trolling Corey Feldman, and they were oh, low cow. Yeah, they were low cowing him for years. You know, just like doing all these YouTube um, stream yards on him, trying to going real life with him, and it got so bad that he got restraining orders on almost all of these people. Wow, including hey, Ed knows Susan, all about that. I think well, Sarah, I think he's got one on her for like five years. Ed has one on him from yeah. my dad. The Corey Feldman thing is that's a whole rabbit hole in itself. Yeah, that goes even deeper and deeper. Oh, so you and know, about wasn't it. he like, molested and shit when he was younger? Yeah, he he finally got the I was I asked because that's where they were why they were harassing him in the first place because he said that he was going to make this documentary exposing pedophiles. Mm -hmm. and they were saying that he's lying. He's just he's a scammer, and he's a you know he's a cokehead and he's lying. Well, that's almost alarming. Like, the, yeah. like, does people know about some kind of pedophile ring or something? It was real. It was all real. It was for real. That you know, there is. Um, he was telling the truth, basically, and um, he was trying to raise money for it. And then it got to a point where he just he did the thing for free. And it was, um, I think that I've seen part of it. Like, cause, cause what happened was on, on the day that it was released, you know, they hacked the fucking live stream and, you know, Susan in the game, Susie, she's in a nursing home now, you know, cause she got it, finally got her karma. That crazy old woman, she was a drug addict too. You know, she Everybody was the one it, that was karma. Like, hooked on pain pills and shit, you know, calling me. Shit your brain, man. Yeah. They, these are the same people calling me a junkie and harassing me, you know, calling me homeless. And, yeah. They did to me you know, too. Like, like trying to suicide troll me, try trying to make everybody hate me, you know. Yep. Yeah. Because that's what John was talking about, you know. Like, he's not so sure about whether any of the stuff they were saying about me is true about me. I'm such a piece of shit, you know. All I know like, is what you did to me. Because I, I just stand on the street corner filming cars, and screaming at old ladies, and I and then they flip flop that. and say that I'm a violent, dangerous criminal and I, I killed all these people. I never and, said that. It's bullshit. It's insane. You know, it's been, I had, every once in a while, I do remind these guys of all the things that they did to me. I remind That's why they've been radio Donovan. silent for quite some time. Remind you. There's no more TI news. He's officially um, in Gulag. Yeah, so what's he doing now? Just uh, uh, sharing TikTok shorts. Yeah. Like conspiracy theories. Yeah, I think that he's one of those uh, flat earth people. 
So do you think that he's just doing that to try to draw people in that are crazy? Or do you think he really believes that shit? Both. Oh, he wow. actually he actually does believe that stuff. Cause that's why he went real life with Dana Kane and they were uh, they met up in real life and got drunk together, went to a motel room and bumped uglies and everything. Yeah, I saw like some little piece, short piece of the thing with the two of them together. Yeah, that's on Kiwi Farms. That's on uh, Dana Kane's uh, thread. I'm gonna pull that up later because I went and looked at it today because, to see if uh, the farms were still accessible, and it is. It's still up, which is sad, unfortunate. But oh, look at that Virginia. The seat. good news is that the, the, the Kiwi Farms is now bored with Dana. They're gonna cut her loose soon because she's been sober and. She's not crazy anymore. And she's been behaving herself. They're, horrible they're actually beings. rooting for her now. It's amazing how people can get off of drugs, stop drinking and stuff like that, and they can heal a little bit and start to see the world <laughs> for what it really is. Uh, instead of all this crazy fantasy bullshit, it's like, it blows my mind how people are willing to go so far into fantasy land. Well, so yeah, and not, it just ended like that overnight. Unless she was able conspiracies. to prove that. She's really serious about getting sober and working on her program and fixing herself, you know, you know, self-betterment, you know, self-improvement. They, they finally saw that she was sincere about it. She really meant it this time and that she changed. She really did. She really did change. And I didn't expect that at all. I thought she was going to keep, <laughs> getting, you know, passing out it was on sad. live stream, snoring. Now here comes Ed. She used to pass out and, until she wake up. All, and the thing will be on all fucking night until the battery dies. Because Ed spreading this Yeah, I've seen John in, See? I think it might have been Scott Schmier's stream before, and he's just nodding off. It was the middle, the middle of, of the night. Scott's boring as hell. He, he's just like... Oh, yeah. His guitar, the, the way it sounds coming <laughs> off, across there is like awful. Like, I'm not going to say anything about his playing or anything, <laughs> but... The, the audio quality is just awful. They he's he's not purpose. micing it up right. I think he's got it too close to the speaker. Or he needs to move, has, use an external mic and move it around. And like I what I do is I use um, it a professional good. M audio mic. To him, he, like he can play it and back and it And just cover it up with fine. a quill. And I can record drums like that. And it sounds pretty good. That's cool. And so I was like, drums? Well, I play everything. Ah, that's awesome, bro. I play drums as well. No, you Except don't. horns. I can't play horns. You play the bongos. But That's um, cool. I play mostly guitar, bass, and a little bit of drums. But I had a head injury. See, I had a brain injury. So my, that explains my drum it. was a little bit off. That and explains so it. So I, I started using a drum machine instead to kind of, like, kind of Rick Allen it, like Def Leppard it. Did you yeah. get... Still fucked well, up. It, keep you in time. That's, Did you, you know, any... if you're playing bass or something like that or guitar and you throw that drum machine on, Wonder... keep you in time. You're, you'll be good. I wonder if you had yeah. brain surgery at all. And that's actually what I wanted to do. They I wanted to start in phasing out of this um, game stalking shit and this conspiracy crap. Because you're being pushing, exposed. Putting on music stuff. Because I, do, I did find some old music that I wanted to release finally because um, it was actually just a demo. But it was a song that I was writing. I never finished it. Like I forgot name. about it. I didn't even know it was there. And then when I found yeah, it, sometimes but, those are the best. You come back, revisit them, and you're just like, all right, I'm really going to put this thing together now. And I thought, hey, that's not bad. I could put that on YouTube and use that as like um, a channel trailer. I think yeah. that's, that'll work for that. That'd you know, be cool. Put, put some visuals on it. And then start working my way towards, um, I might just... Just completely phase this shit out and just turn turn us into a music channel. What do you know? And then yeah, I'll use make my... good content for people to, to be able to you yeah. know see. You know what I mean? Plant Something seed, to be proud of because you're already exposed. That's you know cool. it. Because I, I, honestly, I, I got sick of this shit. The shit with conspiracy underground, just like bad mouth me, just like sick of it. Yeah, right. It's gotten to a point where he's he's never gonna have more than 500 subscribers. You, you know, know like, that, don't doing you? the stuff that he does. Because he did say that he was a rapper and that, like, I've never heard him rap. I've never heard a lick of music from him. Because <laughs> he claims yeah. he's a songwriter, he's an artist, he's a rapper. He can bust some rhymes. I'm like, well, just put some out, you know? Like, even if it's just, like, a you know, like a small little tra uh, trailer, and he won't even do that. Behavior modification. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, he, yeah I'll do it again. I'll, I might try it out. I got to hook up my hard drive because um. I was pulling out all my old gear, and I realized I had a bunch of old friggin' computers and hard drives that, that still work. 
I was going to show it to Nerve Gorilla. See, see, look, I still got my... Vintage I'm Commodore. Kind of a, I'm kind of a geek, too. <laughs> That's cool. What do you know? I'm not very tech savvy at all, even though You're John right. seems to think I am. You're but, right. Uh, no, I, I, I'm not very good on computers or anything like that at all. No, no. I don't even oh, have an actual computer. I'm using my cell phone. You've been editing videos would probably make fun of me right now. before I was ever on YouTube. Oh, yeah, StreamYard actually changed it around so that now, now you can use um, StreamYard on your phone. And that's what Conspiracy yeah. Underground's been doing. Cause yeah, this is actually, you, last night was the first time I was ever in one of these chat things. These panels. They used to make fun of me the first time ever. Poor, because I'm so poor and I only got an Obama phone and my food stamps and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> These guys, really what they did is they, they just made me laugh. You know, I never could take them seriously at all because of their their, um, their theme song and all that shit. These guys, you act like That's you're not really a T.I. It, it was like MK Ultra. They were being brainwashed live on the air. These guys, like you, you're not I a T.I. Like then? I felt like I had to do something to stop it because um, so there's some shitty people that were getting in here. Like Coach j Rom, he used to be on there all the time. He was a moderator too. He blocked me from the chat so that they could fucking. Um, so what are you saying, Donovan? You're you know, not show a my mugshot and fucking all the all the shit I got arrested for, it's and just then like having angels. me blocked from the chat so I can't get on the stream and say, "Just like angels. hey, you know, you guys suck." But I, I would never do that to them. You know, I would never get up here and. Of course you wouldn't. Show all show um, even though I have you know to will as revenge, but I realize that. Revenge. His shit is already all over Kiwi Farms, and it's never coming down. There's nothing he can do about that. That's why I felt sorry for him. Yeah. You know, he's like forever low cowed. That is like the worst punishment, you know, thing that could happen to anybody. No, I and they could do that to me so. anytime, but they haven't. Why is and I'm that, actually not on the farms. So. Why would that even matter to anybody? But I'm Who very cares? dangerously close. All I have to do is piss off the wrong person. And then I'm the next guy getting low cowed on Who, Kiwi Farms. Who are those people? And then I'll be on Burger Boy every day. You know, I'll be the next Cobra. <laughs> it's sad, you know. Like, it's funny, aren't you on Burger Boy? These people got to be careful, you know. That's why I told John, you know, I'm willing to help you out, bro. How are you going to help me? Let's talk about this. You I know, try to talk to you. Just making these damn videos back and forth. And I try to talk to you. Community tab, post. It gets old. You won't answer my question. Because I'm going to show the screen here real quick, quick about what Conspiracy Underground was threatening to do. I mean, he's literally going to do the same thing that he did to me. You know, he was like, um, he said he's going to show the, his um, arrest records and his monk shots. Yeah. Like, no, don't do that. Here's, uh, Why not? Conspiracy Underground is threatening to dogs. I, I should do that for mine. Oh, I did see this. Yeah, that he said that. Because you In guys. In fact, I uh, told him how he could find it. How How is that, Ed? You know, uh, he, you know how to find Police record or whatever, anyway. Oh, you showed him how to find it, did you? But that's actually, you know... How to find the, the lie or the real one? The problem with Conspiracy Underground is that's really what he's all about. His whole channel's been, like, um... He built his channel oh, you off showed of me Conspiracy and Underground how to find it, see? You know, the constant... Because he was trying to lo locale Abe some way. It's funny get how... Get people to laugh at him and unsubscribe and troll him. He seemed to think that I uh, got in trouble you know, for something um, I never did. Isn't I that think, funny? Uh, Conspiracy I... Underground has... Type of a personality disorder. You showed him, Ed. What do you know? Oh yeah, yeah. I think he's pretty creative, though. It's it's uh, pretty interesting. If he wanted to make some kind of sci-fi book or something like that, he could probably do it. If he was a writer, if he did some kind of writing, creative writing, and we he yeah. they actually have college classes for that. Like, there's a school here where they had classes for creative writing. It could be, you know, an, a published author. A writer of you know writing science fiction stories or um he likes that you know he could do true crime too but again and he has you know, kind he, of like a voice for radio too you know that too you know as far as but again you know his i think he got brainwashed by ti news brainwashed by ti news ever he's since then like he's you. just <laughs> i don't know what to do i feel really bad about him i'm afraid that he might actually um he might, like, attack somebody thinking that it's Abe just because he sees somebody that looks like Abe. He might try to attack that Here person. Here comes now the or propaganda. Go, go, go pull a Sammy Williams. Propaganda, propaganda shit. 
it's kind of scary, you know, like, because, like, the way he, he went off on Patton when he made that video of him driving, saying that he was going to go to his house on his birthday. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, don't do that. I think he's just fucking It was a joke. It was yeah, a title. he is. He's just, you know. It was know, a joke. There's people that actually do that kind of stuff. Like J-Rom, you know, I pissed that guy off and he was, he was ready to throw blows. Like, he was going to show up. And, <laughs> and I was like, bring it, bro. I only saw a tiny little bit of J-Rom stuff. He's a and weirdo. It just, he just comes off as being kind of like a redneck. No, he's a fucking weirdo. Yeah, I, I think that... um. He, he's got enough problems as it is, you know, because he did, he pissed off some other folks too, like that Brutal Mafia guy. He was bad-mouthing him, and and the dude just, you know, he, he had enough, and he clapped back, and next thing you know, he caught him doing something, saying something, and that just showed his true character about where his mind really, mindset really is at. Right. And what kind of a person he really is. And, right. He's that kind of guy that really would go, you know, take it to the dark side hmm. and go real life with somebody. That, that's this what is, we don't like is we don't is, like people that go real life, you know, IRL. See, this is yeah. real life, though. And the first person that goes real life is the one who calls the cops. Right, because they're, they're afraid because they know they're going to get the consequences of what they did. Not the person that actually you stalks. You fuck with me, I'm going to fuck back. And know? harasses somebody. I got, him, I got videos of him um, saying that... <clears throat> Are he you filed IC three reports. He called the FBI. He did all that shit on on Brutal Mafia, just for being a troll account. It was just a troll account hmm. because these guys were literally take like posting pictures of each other's addresses and shit, and that that's that's going too far. Well, like stalking that, somebody. Probably like, nobody showed up. But like hiding around the corner in the alley. That showed up at Cyrax's house. <laughs> And he came out with a baseball bat and tried to hit one of these guys, and, and he went to jail. Wow. It was a setup. That's how bad it could get, you know, because I don't want nobody in, in Ninja Mask showing up at my house. You could have your brother channel. You, who drives. That, that's when I'm going to have to start doing these dumb stream yards and, and say, look, the only people that are getting any kind of gift cards are the illegal immigrants. Because that, that story was on news. How do you know? I, I broke that a couple days ago. That doesn't mean that more people aren't doing There's it. There's no such thing as people getting paid in gift cards. How do you, you know? know? To be on YouTube. The fact that you say it's that. It's obvious. Like, I'm never going to have a monetized channel. The fact that you say that. Because all the bad mouthing and all the, the rumors and the, fact the Discord groups and the Facebook groups. It ends a part of. And they, they never get more than 100 followers, you know, every time they do that kind of crap. Because I've been keeping a close eye on Tammy Hess. You know, she's really a case study. If, if anybody wants to know what gang stalking really is, is, they have to study Tammy Hess. Look at my videos. And the kind of stuff that she does. Too bad. You know, she's just this fat old lady that sits in her double wide trailer cussing out people on the Internet. And then I'm going to be honest, the first time I even heard the term gang stalking, I thought it was like the other way around. Like some people were vigilante, like stalking gangs that were committing crimes or something. Oh, yeah, that's true. I started to look into it and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, this is kind of the opposite. Yeah. When was that? Yeah. When was yeah, that? Yeah, what really happened was um, one you day I noticed that there's all these um, Before I told you anything, low rider you trucks it. showing up at, the, at my, my apartment complex. There were people vandalizing too. They were, they were shooting my vet, my my car, you know, my seventy Torino. It was getting shot up with paintball guns, and people were throwing eggs at it. You had a freaking Torino. Yeah, and I sold it because it was it had uh, Flintstone, you know, holes in the floorboards. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the engine mm. was shot. It, mm. it had a three fifty one Windsor that that just burned oil. And yeah. Turned out it had cracked heads. Um, but yeah, they were trying to destroy that thing. Um, it started right before Trump got elected. This is what it was all about. Um, it was a gang of illegal immigrants. You know, they, they were casing out my apartment complex because they were after these little girls that were living there. I didn't know that. They just happened to go to school there. And um, one day, I noticed it looked like there's a car show. What the hell are these trucks doing out here? It looked like there's a, what is this, a car show or something? What, what are these fancy trucks doing here? Just rows and rows and rows of them, just all lined up. Bouncing up and down? No. <laughs> they filled up. They 
filled up the parking lot, you know, and I noticed that they all had uh, Sinaloa license plates from Mexico. They were all from Sinaloa and Chihuahua. Oh, God, it was from Mexico. Where are you at, New Mexico? Yeah, this okay. is uh, gangland. I literally live in the, in the heart of gangland. Actually, you must be no... like in the mountains or something, because I saw there was snow on your one video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're up in the mountains, about 7,000 feet. It's kind of up in uh, Sherpa land. Like, the air gets pretty thin up here, and I think it affects people's thinking, you know, due to the lack of oxygen. And they do a lot of irrational things. Yeah, you might be right. It could be. And so this gang, you know, started driving by every day. You know, every day somebody would, you know, it was just a U-shaped drive, and that was it. They'd just pull in and do a circle and then leave. Mm. Then honk the horn twice when they drive by my apartment. Yep. And that's what that white truck is about. You know, like, I'm going to show you where I used to live at. It's kind of like, you know, I always felt bad about it. You know, oh, no, don't show where you live at. I believe. Oh, but, but, um, you used okay. to live there and you don't live there anymore. What's the difference? You know? Yeah, it's gone now. But one of the first, if you look at the very first videos that I made here, you know, they don't really make much sense. But it's obvious that the pattern that these guys are looking for, you know, it's the same style same make and model of pickup truck you know like that you know like, uh, like the most common pickup truck i guess the thing these days there. is to lower the, the suspension make it look like a low rider okay put big fancy rims on it mm -hmm. tint the windows black and put a sound and system. have the loudest exhaust and sound system right gangsta they, they, extra they, chrome exactly yeah and these guys were literally shooting guns they They're modify doing it, their like, they would drive by Boom! You know, you hear a couple shots, or sometimes it'll be. Yep, they modify their vehicles. Come out. To, uh, They're to peeling out. It's some kind of a gang that drive. They drive trucks like this. You know, with the. And then sometimes they put the little tiny wheels on there, the little Daytons. Mm -hmm. Or they'll put those big stupid ones, like the, like like the black folks like you know those donk mobiles. I guess. It, put some spinners on. Yeah, spinners, <laughs> spokes, and. It's like a combination of like, okay, there it is. This is like uh, one of the main ones. Let's see. It just happens to be. Um, I'm just getting audio. I can't see anything. Yeah, just... sorry, I didn't have my. Um, can you see it now? Yep. Yeah, this is. Um, can you see the chat? These guys are actually from Central America. They're, they're not Mexicans. They're actually. Um, Guatemalan. Some of them are from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. But, but yeah, that's where a lot of the gang shit is, right? Yeah, it's almost like and the... he's just like he's recording me. He's got, I can see the phone pointed at me, but the camera can't because the windows tinted so black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's every gang day stalking. they just drive around this circle and do that. And he's got those um. Black tinted covers. Yep. Well, this makes a lot more sense. The other night you were you were live, and it was nighttime, and some Mexican dude pulled up, and you were pretty pissed at him. I was like, yeah. "Why is he so pissed at that guy?" Sometimes I recognize them. Sometimes it's the same guys over and over. <laughs> but but gang stalking mm -hmm. isn't happening, Ed. And other times, right? Um, like that, they drive trucks like this. But, yeah, but how do you explain plate. how do you explain all the videos I have of you Ed that guy got pissed you know he actually messaged me about that and he threatened me from my <laughs> home from from here he's all calling me a bitch and all kinds of shit it's, I haul he, like 3,000 pounds with this shit or whatever I guess because he paid a lot of money to get the motor modified but these guys still bother me they come around here like all the time almost every day and most of the time I don't record them but I did buy a body camera just in case. So like if these guys do get out of the truck and like try to gang up on me or something, then I could pull out the body cam, clip it on, and then hit the record button. And then if I go to jail, I'm going to win. Or if I get murdered, um, there's some piece of evidence, you know, something. You should have a live streaming body but cam. But I can, um, I do have a photo album too. I have on my my hard drive 
a lot of pictures of the same crap. Like this guy right here. The guy in this, the, it's the lowrider truck. No, no. I was just standing here by, by my neighbor's van, and there, and he's doing those circles. Well, why is that, Donovan? Are you, are you an art? Why are they doing it to you? But it's the same style of truck. You never said that, did you? Like a Chevy. Why? Chevy Silverado half tone. Why are they doing it to you, Donovan? Suspension and these big, like, like thirty inch rims that they were fucking huge. Why isn't anybody asking it's that? Too. Like, it's just idling right now. You can't really hear it. But when they hit that gas, <laughs> why? Why doesn't anybody ask Fart the question? Pops. Why do they gang stalk you, Donovan? Why is it that they're doing this to you? The old queef machine. I don't remember ever hearing you yeah, say. Yeah, they just it. had to be a plane flying over too. I didn't even notice that. Weird. Weird. That was old. I was using a really shitty camera back then. See, back in those days. I didn't use um, I didn't use um, smartphones. I didn't use Androids. I didn't have one. I didn't start using those until about 2018. No, no, not, not eight, 19, 2019, I think. And I didn't so even you know. just had a digital camera or something? Yeah, just a, a cheap one from Walmart. You know, like yeah. those the cheapest ones they got. Like Vivitar or something like that? Yeah, yeah, these like, like Chinese. Mm-hmm. And that, that's how I started this YouTube channel with just just a Chinese camera and a and a Chromebook, old one back when they had uh they, when they still had uh disc powder drives in them. The ones they have now suck. But uh, so why do they weird, do it to you? you know, why like, do they gang stalk you? I have to teach these guys, but they don't listen. They don't listen to me because they are fully convinced that no, ask questions. I am somehow getting paid to be on YouTube. Ask questions, and I'm listening. Oh, no. You want to see how much I'm getting paid? I'm not hearing any answers. But where it's actually coming from? Is what it coming from? YouTube corporate. <laughs> Thank you for your services, Mr. Donovan. <laughs> yeah, like, don't you have no, to be a member the federal... of the YouTube partner program? The federal government. <laughs> you got to have at least a thousand subscribers to get into that. And Coach J. Romney, you know, he's a real bad guy. You know, he, he was in that program, but they finally booted him out. I couldn't believe that shit. Tammy Hess was in there. Will was in there. They let the worst people that were actual, you know, get, actually gang stalking people. See, you say that. YouTube partner program members. Weird. And then they you just, after they got rid of those guys, after Tammy Hess, they started sending me these weird um, surveys. They wanted me to fill out these surveys asking them about, you know, if, if, if I feel like there's unintentional bias from YouTube. <laughs> like, yeah, now they're kissing my ass. That's why my channel's still up. My old original channel from 2017, you know, like, again, you know, I'm a survivor. I survived all this shit. What? What did, what did the they... the false flaggings. And what did they stalk you for? Attempted takedowns. None of that shit. You know, if it, you know they were lying. They, they, they had to lie, you know. What did, yes, they do. They did so much shit, you know, to sabotage me. It's just fucking unbelievable. Why? I don't even know these people. Why? <laughs> what did I do to piss these people off in the first place? Good you question. Know, still trying to figure it out. Good question. Yeah, you know, it's just they randomly cycle through targets. I don't know. Maybe you're a narc. This is really and you say some, one, one thing they don't like, and like, all right, who's this guy? And they start looking into you, and they're like, all right, he looks like somebody we can fuck with, maybe. From my point of view... Yeah, I'm... You know, I'm you somebody that's more like people in the witness protection you know, program. Well, you nerve gorilla one day he made him. They give him jobs. He said the only real targeted individual is OJ Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> if They're the like, glove oh. does not fit, you must acquit. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's pretty much the case here, and I'm I'm pretty much OJ all the way. Don't make me OJ you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I would never do anything like that. Yeah, I actually do think he's guilty, but yeah, you know, me he, too. he's got that money, you know, he, like he, money. The, the, the lawyer, you know, there's just too much reasonable doubt. Yeah, I think it was one of those things where they were really trying to bolster the lawyer. And that's what it really boils down to is reasonable doubt. Yes, reasonable you know, doubt. Because it's the, it's the prosecutor's job, you know, and they failed. Yes. Yep, Imagine how much that lawyer gets to charge now after he won that case. He, he can, you know, charge whatever astronomical number he wants because he won that such a high-profile case. Oh, yeah. 
And that guy died of brain cancer, too. And I thought, damn, he must have been one smart ass motherfucker. Yeah, Kardashian's dad. He died of brain cancer after getting OJ off a of murder, only to get to lose a civil case and then get karma. Have to pay all that money. Karma. So sad. And he still went to prison. Kadish. For stealing his own he shit. Yeah, well, he's still acting like an asshole, right? He's still in yeah, his own shit. Yeah, he's some kind of weird spree or something where he was stealing shit. His own shit. Yeah. Because they had a hard on for him. They're just waiting for him to screw up. You know, it's like a traffic ticket, anything, you know, like peeing in public, you know, domestic violence, something. And sure enough, he fucked up and they got him and they, they, they fucking, Still that was over sh- so quick. Still he was in prison. Sh- and then uh, he tried to, it, basically, it looked like a setup, you know, like. Yes. Somebody went into his house and stole some shit, and then they tried to sell it, and then he was mad. He went to try to get his stuff back. Yep. He pulled a gun out, and that, that, that's what got him. You know, yep. He shouldn't have pulled the gun out. They tried to provoke uh, me to do that. Been, but they did steal some shit from out of his house. That's the same. <laughs> you know, the football, the sports memorabilia. Yeah, he had a jersey and stuff. And that's the shit that he was trying to get out. Yep. And I think that's what Conspiracy Underground is trying to copycat. So I wonder if somebody went into his house. That's why he's always telling stories who about stole people it. going breaking into his house when he's not there. Yeah, who would have done that? That's the basically feds. what happened to OJ. The feds probably stole his That's shit. One of the downfalls of being a celebrity, man. It doesn't matter. There's gonna be somebody somewhere who don't like you and they're crazy, and they're gonna fuck with you. And they have extra you put yourself pat- out there too much, and, and, and it's access, just gonna happen. Access to uh, ex- especially in a bad way. Resources you know, like the FBI with malicious intent. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you know, deliberately. Right. Exactly. Like what John was doing when like, he called my friend Sharon a, a paid federal perp. What? I never said that. I got mad. I, I never mad. fucking said that. Sorry, You're a John, liar. You're going to have to show some proof now. You're a liar. Yeah. I You're still a... got that recording. You're... She's a paid federal perp. That's a lie. I never said that. <laughs> it's a like, fucking no, lie, no, dude. No. It's really sad because he was a, he was a pretty smart a kid. lie. He was Bullface oh, lie. He was, a, he was in gifted classes and stuff okay. like that. Here we go. So this is I mean, this he looks is like he's a hard worker. You an know, example so. of um, where they just say yeah, that there's a recording. Yeah, it was kind of sad though. He got to a point where he was going to work and I don't know what kind of drugs he was on, but he was passing out. That's funny. Standing up in the corner. You're a fucking liar. He'd be dude. up on scaffolding and just leaning over a beam, sleeping in the middle of the day. What are you talking about, Ed? It's like <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? See, they just make shit up. That's all they do. I See, he got fired for that shit. What are you talking about? You're full of Damn. shit, Ed. Yeah. You're so full of shit. Oh, so God. full of shit, dude. You well, just make it. was a bummer because it was right around the time that he was going through a breakup with his wife. And uh, I never got she fired. had gone to for, for working for college Donnie? but dropped out. So all of her college debt was deferred. And because they were married, he got a big income tax check. Okay, and they yeah. took it from him. Yeah, and I got it back. for her college. And I got it back. So he was Ooh. all pissed off. Yeah, that's and, when I was working with you. That was around the time that he was just like using pretty heavy. That's when I was working with you, and oh, I didn't get darn. fired. You quit working. That was another thing too. You quit. You know, um, I didn't get fired. You're full of shit. I noticed that he'd been flip flopping a lot. You just you know, make one minute. You know, he's a fan of conspiracy underground. And the next minute, he's calling him out, and now he's validating him again. I'm just saying that he's got some good points. Yeah, he does. Yeah, it really looks like he's trying to get in his good graces again. Maybe he thinks he's on his way. Dude, to I don't get care him. who's <laughs> saying it. I'm looking at the yeah, information. I really think that he needs to get up and talk to Nerve Grill. I'll do a three way with him. I'll I've, help him. And dude, I've sure done that. that. I've done that so many oh, times. Yeah. It's not even so funny. Yeah. You guys know Nerve that. Nerve Grill doesn't start screaming and yelling. Because I know sometimes they pissed him off. He so did bad that. that he like, and he blocked me. He literally yelled for a whole hour. Yeah, he did that and to he me. At the bottom, exhausting. And he and he blocked me. Yeah. You know why? It does get exhausting. Because I asked him. He is like a professional arguer. He was a telemarketer whenever he was in high school. Like a couple different times in his life, he was a telemarketer. Yeah. And so he like kind of has the gift of gab. And he'd be able to like brag about being able to sell old ladies, even though they didn't need it, long distance services on their phone. From AT&T. And shit like that. Yeah, that was the job. So he was like one of the top guys that, you know, for sales in his group. So he was like really good at it. In the it. office. I was training people I mean, at 17 in years high old. high school bringing home pretty good money just doing telemarketing. Yeah. Just the right man for the job. You know, yeah. Fit for TI News. So he's really good at like just kind of, uh, for lack of a better term, manipulating people. Manipulating. Oh, Fuck yeah, you, Ed. That's, that's, Fuck you. Oh, You're man. a fucking liar. Uh, I'm going to have to start writing this down, Mark. Oh, this is funny because my ex, my ex wife tried to say I'm a master manipulator. He met the right people, all right, and they they were just 
uh, they, they were willing to exploit his uh, um, skills to a certain degree. You know, you could. He's good at looking people up. I noticed that. No, like, not. will find out a lot of stuff about Sharon that I didn't even. Dude, know. Dude, I don't even know who Sharon is. You're full of shit. Like, oh, John, how did how did you find out? How you were you, full it was of shit. Like you guys know each other. You're lying. Like, we've been in the same room and. You just yeah, once this... he gets on a subject, he get, he goes hard on it. You know, that's how he, like, has all yeah. this, you yeah. know, whatever, quote-unquote, gang-stalking evidence and stuff like that. He'll just get so obsessed with it that he just looks up everything he can all the time well, about You know what? Something. So is every other so person that's really being gang I, I told him, like, man, you're really fucking squandering your potential here, dude. You didn't tell me Imagine that. Imagine if you put all that brain power when towards did... something positive. When did you tell me that, Ed? He said the same thing to me. He said, he, um... I did. You could be more productive if you focus more on yourself. Because you were... I was like, John, was this, are you trying to give me advice? You were making videos like, about Dana and Will every day. He might day. be projecting there. He probably knows that he has potential and he's wasting it. <laughs> What's your potential, Yeah, Ed? just like a, a lot of folks around here. Like, even Will. Will has a lot of skills, like editing skills and computer skills and video editing skills. And he blew all that to shit. You guys are fucking... You know, just being something a else. You guys are something else, man. Let me tell you. He could have done so much more to help these guys instead of, you know, focused, you know, trying to get revenge and paybacks on Alice Dark for not um, responding. All <laughs> not I can say his weenie or whatever. is receipts. Or Dana and all these other people that he went up against. Receipts. But now it's like, it's all in a playlist. I made a playlist called uh, Gang of Cocksuckers. So, Ed. <laughs> that, that was for Tammy because when she accused me of hacking her up, um, YouTube channel and changing the name to, uh, to Gang of Cocksuckers. <laughs> My next, uh, oh, you did, did you? All I could say to, no, but you don't troll. Yeah, it was right? me, Tammy. You have, I yeah, did it. You admit. I went in there, I changed the name and put an X so that uh, it doesn't get um, flagged <laughs> by YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do that? Now that's the green hair and horns people. Yeah. No. That, that originally started out as, um, a hate group against Sarah Barrett, actually, like, because Sarah was the one, because she likes Christmas. She's got this thing for Christmas. Yeah, I have no Her idea about this shit. favorite colors are red and green. And that's, yeah, that's where the red and green comes from. See, and so I, she's the one doing all this uh, Christmas shit. How do you uh, know this? I don't know this, Don. Like Christmas After Dark, Christmas This, and she even had a Christmas channel with Christmas you, music. God, I hate this woman. She's horrible. How do you know all this? Tomorrow, maybe, if I'm still up, I might play um, how TI News got started. I made a video about it. Um, Sarah Barrett helped Sarah Barrett helped create TI News, and I got a clip of her um, doing something weird with an underage child. See, I'm learning something uh, right now. I've never never heard this yeah, before Yeah, and she all. actually got mad at me. She flagged my channel, and she even messaged me and told me. I bet. Like, she, was, like, she begged me to take that down. She was... She, She's willing to call a truce and everything, you know, for just like sweep up, you know. Because like, like, her whole life was what other people think. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I did. But she still flagged my channel. But then, like, she's one of those people that I always hate, like, passionately. Like, uh, like I'm always going to. Hate is such a strong like, word. out of the woodwork. No, 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 Sarah. No, 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 no. You and this guy and that guy over there. I cannot forgive these people. I can only promise them no forgiveness for the rest of my years because of what they did. Which you know, is? Lying on me. Just lying, lying. Lying. Why did they do that? That's why my channel never grows. I never get more. Than, why did they do that? Stagnant. It's been stagnated ever since they did that. And why did they do that? Because back then, I didn't want to get on a panel. I didn't want to have to use StreamYard or any of that kind of stuff. And that's why like, they did that. I never did make any sock accounts like they did. Oh, right, right. They tried to impersonate me. They, they just, it's just like. Oh, did they? They've done so, so much horrible things. Can you show that? Because I've never seen well, I'm it. I'm going to show that. I'm going to show that. All right. But yeah, the green haired. Yeah, Scott figured that out early. I'm, I'm surprised. You know, he, he did his homework. The whole time. That he knows who some of these people are. Why are you ignoring the chat? Like the hate group kind of. Like Scotty was in that group too. They were just laughing, you know, talking about their experiences with Sarah. And then when she found out about it, she like. And then it broke off into this other thing. And then Tammy Hess joined the gang, and that's when she put her uh, her green hair on. They're and coming her, for her you, Donovan. Horns. They're coming for you. 
And the way I look at these people, I was like, okay, if they want to act like devils, then I'm going to treat them like devils. Yeah. And um, we'll, we'll get the damn Lord on their asses. How's that? <laughs> Smite. <laughs> About to go medieval. <laughs> medieval, evil, right? But I'll tell you what, man, thanks for coming up, man. I really appreciate that. You're the first Why? guest I ever had on this channel. I tried to. <laughs> I tried to. Honor. I tried to, and yeah, you shut the stream down. Honor, man. I'm totally psyched. I tried to come on, That's and cool. you shut the There's stream down. There's one other down. thing I wanted to tell you before I go. Uh, your voice just reminds me of a friend of mine that, that died a few years back. His name was Wally. But it's just like every time I hear you speak, it just like gives me this, you know, call back to my, my good friend. Really, Ed. So really, Ed. I just wanted to tell you that. I don't know why. That's where you were at yeah. when you tried to touch. Thanks for sharing, man. You tried to touch that girl, Ed. Yeah. Muchos gracias. Yeah, Wally's yeah. house. You're at Wally's house. My first ever guest on StreamYard. <laughs> it would have to be um, John's arch nemesis. No, it's my brother. He's my gangsta. <laughs> well, I sure right. hope he gets, like, you know, gets right with a, something, you know, find a religion or something. Oh, you know, no, I ain't. Uh, not stuff, not religion. Stuff. Not religion. The truth. No, just find a different interest, man. He'll, he, could, he could go far if he did. It's not my yeah, interest. I he's in the tarot cards, too. No, I'm not. God, that's so dumb. No, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it was a goofy thing that you like, whatever, everybody teach their own. I'm not into but tarot cards. But if you try to apply it to real life too much, it could just really, you know... I don't. Yeah, I think he should start listening to some old Iron Maiden. I just did a video <laughs> about yeah, how start, start with, uh, the tarot cards you know, are a hack. Or listen to the Seventh Son album and then the X Factor and then all the new stuff. Something he, he can listen to. It always feels like somebody's watching me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to try to help him. You know, I ain't gonna um, bully him no more. I'm gonna try to make him laugh this time. Uh, yeah, well, I appreciate not, that. I'd hate to see him go down too not, crazy. You down ain't the bullying road. me. I'm yeah. not going to be crazy. Absolutely, Abe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I you think he know. emulates Abe. At least early on, he did. He was acting a lot like Abe early on. Oh, Abe. Yeah, he, he he's a handful. Yeah. He's the guy that, you know. Um, no, why are you. I've seen him do some things. Like, uh, he just starts screaming and screaming and yelling. Like, mm -hmm. he needs to be locked in the quiet room. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Put him on some Thorazine or something. Yeah, that's what he needs. He needs, like, a dose, like, a joint or something. You know, yeah. If that, don't, if that don't work, then hit him in the butt sheet with that. He probably would chill the fuck out if he just, you know, had a little, a little puff once in a while when he started getting anxious. <laughs> or try one of those, um... Arrogant bastard IPAs. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, sometimes people like that, you don't want to get them drunk because they, they get violent and they won't stop once they start, you know? Oh, yeah, he seems like one of those guys that he would definitely uh, fly off the handle. And next thing you know, here come the cops. And... Oh, me. Mm hmm Me. There he is throwing haymakers at midair because he's so pissed drunk, you know? What are they talking about? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for throwing up, my yeah, buddy. For coming in line right on, rock on. Teeth. Keep on that music, man. Yeah, I'll show you guys some stuff, man. Cool, bro. I'll do I'll that for you. Later. All right. Thanks, man. Yep. Peace, man. All right. Peace. So. There you have it, man. There the he... Lord Jesus Christian does nothing but lie. Fake perp. Fake perp. You sure that was not a fake perp? All right. So now. I'm going to show some uh, some stuff on my phone here, right? Let's look at my files, shall we? And your browse. And this is like, like you can see here, my people finder. Like I searched myself and found nothing but lies. Somebody had the ability to go in here and, and change what the internet has information for me. I don't know what Ed's talking about when he says about uh, my extensive criminal record that he showed to Conspiracy Underground. He admitted this. He showed Conspiracy Underground how to find it. Isn't that funny, right? Isn't that funny? Hey, Ed, will you show me how to find that? I'd really like to know how, to how you found that, Ed. I would love to know 
<laughs> how to find my criminal record um, from, you know, according to what you showed Conspiracy Underground, because he seems to think that I got arrested for stealing from Walmart and with a bunch of meth, and it's an absolute bold-faced lie, and you know it. You know it, Ed, because you showed him how to find it. And you know that that's not true. You, of all people, absolutely know that's not true. 100% you know that's a lie, which means you made up the lie, Ed. Don't you see how easy it is to, to, you know, to show the truth? It's not hard. All you have to do is explain it a little bit, right? Point a couple things out. That's it. Let people make up their own minds. But, but you got to show them the information, right? And you said at one point in that stream, you said, or Donovan said, I'm sorry, about a recording, that you had this recording of me saying that Sarah Barrett was a federal agent? That's a bold-faced lie. I never said anything of the sort. I don't even know who Sarah Barrett is. The only reason I know who you're talking about is because you told me who she is. I was on a stream one time where all I did was went and told Will what you were trying to, to tell me about him. You told me a bunch of bullshit about Will. So I went and told him, why are you so mad that I told him what you were saying about him? You were telling somebody, a total stranger, you were telling a total stranger a bunch of stuff about Will. Why were you so afraid and so mad that I told Will about it, right? And it was the one time I was on Sarah Barrett's live stream because we were at TI News and when it ended, she was doing a live, so we went there. And that's whenever I told him about, I said, yeah, Donovan and this hippie chick who happens to be Sharon, what do you know? Sharon, to, to my understanding, is that Will's ex, right? Isn't that Will's ex? And, and isn't he being gang stalked, right? Isn't that funny? So you and Sharon, right, over here, trying to convince me of something that was a lie. I tell Will about it, you get all mad. Why do you get so mad? If it's the truth, what do you have to worry about? See, I, without even realizing it at the time, I was exposing Donovan back then. Okay? And that's when a lot of this uh, kicked off, and he's, he has not forgotten about that, right? I have a theory, and I've, you put together the patterns, and you see who's doing this shit to you, right? And around my area, there is a gated community called Glendale Year Round, and the majority of my stalkers, the local local stalkers that I don't know who they are, but I recognize them and they all have stickers on the back of their vehicle that say Glendale year round. All right. Now they don't do this since I pointed it out. I don't see them anymore at all. But for a long time, without saying anything, I noticed all of these vehicles had Glendale year round stickers on. So I started looking into things. Right. And then I find out that Glendale year round was set up, um, and it's rumored, obviously, it's, you can't find this information, you can't find out for sure because of the information that Glendale Year Round is a gated community that is used by the federal government to relocate people that are in the witness protection program, okay? Now, if, it's, if you're in the witness protection program, the government helps you out with a job, right? They help you out, they, they, because you can't do it, right? You can't can't risk exposing you they're responsible for you now right so they give you a job right well what could you do from home where you're sitting on the internet you know and you don't have to risk being found out or exposed right what could you do just from home well you could do work for them then they can monitor you too and make sure that they can keep an eye on you right so what better job than to turn a bunch of witness protection people into gang stalkers right and any targets that the federal government can identify as you know, as a target, put them on a list or whatever. We'll use these people over here, right? Because they they have to do what we say. <laughs> they're, they're our responsibility, right? The Witness Protection Program. So what better job to give them to, to just have them go online? They don't have to know all the, you know, all the information. All they have to know is what we tell them. And we tell them, uh, well, this person here did this and they did that. They're a bad person. We need you to go on and we need you to talk about it. We need you to read this script, okay? And we'll provide you the scripts, tell you what to do, you know, and we'll do the rest, right? What do you, wouldn't that be very, just, it just makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense why Nerve Gorilla is so adamant about hiding his identity, isn't it? Doesn't it? Because whenever 
this is when he blocked me whenever I was on voice chat with Nerve Gorilla, right? Which I've done several times. I don't know why they pretend like I never did that. And he was, uh, we were having a, you know, a little debate because I, I, listen, I welcome debate. It's a healthy tool to, to learn, learn things that you didn't know before. You know, it's a way to maybe make you see another perspective that you just didn't see before that somebody else can present a situation to you, you know, another side of it, another perspective. And a lot of people have, have changed the way they view things because of the debates, right? So in this particular situation, we're talking and I ask Nerve Girl because I just don't get it. I don't understand. They say about um, not putting your information out there, okay? I, I get that. But when you're somebody who's in a situation where you already have a bunch of people stalking and harassing you, they obviously know where you live. They know everything about you. They have your device hacked. They, they follow you around everywhere. So what the fuck would you be afraid of, right? What the hell do you have to be afraid of at that point? Nobody else is going to do that shit. The, the, the bad people already know where you're at. The best thing to do at that point is to put all your information out there for the public, right? Say, hey, look over here, look over here. That way they can't do anything to you, right? And that way they can't just just unalive you, right? Because isn't it funny how all these people got drove to suicide, right? They got drove to suicide, these people, who were speaking out about the truth, you mean? The people that you claim are conspiracy theorists and they just got so crazy that they drove themselves to suicide. Sorry, that sounds kind of convenient, doesn't it? Sounds real convenient. So, I say, in order to protect yourself, if you are a target... This is my advice to any TIs out there. If you haven't already made a YouTube channel yet, given your story and putting all your information out there, then you're, you're wasting time. You are at risk every day that you don't put your story out there because if they could just, just eliminate you like you were never here and they could paint whatever narrative they want and say whatever they want, what have you done to combat that? What have you done ahead of time you know, to, uh, to combat that, to say, no, that's not true, to show everybody the truth, right? Because people look for the truth. All you got to do is put it out there. Put it out there ahead of time. That way they, if, you know, if you are in fear of something happening to you, you put your story out there. You, you make sure you say several times, as, as often as you can, who you think is behind your targeting, right? Everybody kind of knows, has an idea of who's behind their targeting, right? So it's okay to voice your opinion of people, you know, you're not, just don't go out there saying this person did this and this, you know, if you don't know, you can't just go out and say it because then you lose your credibility, right? So you can share your thoughts though. You can share what's, what's happening to you. You can give your, you know, what you suspect is the, the reasons, the motive for them to do this to you, who's behind it. You can put all that out there, right? And then, if something were to happen to you, what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to look at your online present. Your, you know, they're going to look at online and see what was going on online, right? What was said, you know, and they're going to look at all that. And so is everybody else. All the people that, that the truth seekers, you know, the true crime people and all that. That's, they love to do that, right? And as long as you do that and put it out there enough and say it enough times, you'll get enough... <laughs> There'll be enough of a presence online that they will not risk it. They're not going to touch you then. Because believe me, if you haven't done that yet, is they probably have a plan if they ever need to use it to just to just disappear you, unalive you, right? It looks like in my situation, they were taking steps, right, to just eliminate, just erase certain parts of my life to, to make it look like, you know, to make, to just erase me from fucking, from the internet. In a way, right? It, it was, it's weird. It's crazy because like my Apple, my pictures, okay? In my pictures, in my photo album on my, on my phone, right? You take pictures, like I have a bunch of pictures of my gang stalking evidence. And then the only other thing that I have are pictures of my kids, right? Well, when you have the memories, um, the, the software is designed to to put together these little memory clips and put together certain pictures, you know, 
it's it's AI, you know, and it uses the software to put together little collages for you, right? Your pictures and stuff. And when I noticed mine, for some reason, for some reason, right, it was doing the opposite, right? It would identify all these people in my photos except for my daughter, except for my son, right? It would identify all these people except for my kids, like, so that they could just say I, I was never a part of their life or something. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But that's, it's really seemed like that. And it seemed like there was a plan to make me look like a bad dad. I know there was a plan that my ex-wife was brainwashing my kids, telling them that they were going to be moving in with her. Okay? I just don't think the plan worked. Because she was telling them this, like, convinced, they were convinced that their mom was telling them with confidence that they were going to be living with her. At the time, she was back in child support $13,000 and had two outstanding warrants for her arrest. What do you know? Here's somebody who I'm claiming is involved who got in trouble with the law, but they don't care. They're not going after her. Why is that? Isn't that, isn't that funny? Isn't, I ask these questions that I can't get answers to. She had no problem putting her information to domestic relations, and they had all her information. They could have went and picked her up at any time fucking time they wanted she absconded probation in two different counties for drugs both counties she got in trouble for drugs right so i believe that it's somebody has been manipulating the information right somebody that was maybe wanted to take me down for something i might have done in the past right and i'm not going to be an idiot i'm sorry conspiracy underground but i'm not going to be an idiot and admit to things that i've done on the internet here I'm not going to do that. I'm also not claiming that I'm innocent, that I'm, that I'm some saint, all right? I'm not going to claim that. I never have. But I'm not about to come on here and say, no, uh I, you know, I got in trouble for this and I got in trouble for that. And I'm not going to do that. Are you stupid? Come on, dude. That's why I, I call you a perp, you know, because it seemed like you were trying to gaslight me into coming on here and, and just divulging all my information to everybody. But I certainly wasn't acting like a saint. And I certainly wasn't acting like the best dad of the year, right? I do my best with what I got. But I'm not, I'm not ashamed at all. I have absolutely no shame. I have no regrets whatsoever. I hold my head high. I can look myself in the mirror. I can sleep well at night, right? Because I have no, there's, there's nothing, no secrets, no skeletons in my closet where I have to worry about, you know, karma coming after me, Right? I, I don't do nefarious things with malicious intent against people. Everything and anything that I've said about my brother is true. And it has only been done because, as a, as a consequence of his actions, in an effort to preserve my name, my reputation, right? Because what they try to paint me out as, to, to the people in my town and to whoever... Whoever they want, you know, whoever they need to convince, it's totally the opposite, okay? It's not true. It's, it's lies. Like my brother said that I was falling asleep, fucked up, passed out over a beam at work. I know what he's talking about. He's, he's talking about the last, like, memory that he has of us working together, right? Before he quit and never went back to work, ever since then. 2008, I think it was. It might have been 2009 or 2010. Maybe. But he hasn't worked since then. In the last, like, 10 or 15 years. At least, well, closer to 15 years he hasn't worked. Right? What's he doing all this, <laughs> all this time then? For 15 years? Not working. Well, wouldn't it be convenient if he had a job he just couldn't tell anybody? Right? He certainly knows his way around a computer. He absolutely does. His old lady... It has the connections within the county. Her first cousin is the counselor at the prison. He made sure he let me know that too. I didn't know that. I might have in the past, but I didn't rem- remember that. How am I supposed to remember that? But he made sure he let me know that. And then they kept me for an extra 10 days for no reason. And he was the one that fed me lie after lie after lie every day. It was a different lie. Why I was still in there. Why they didn't release me yet. The judge ordered me, uh, ordered uh, my whatever i had my hearing and they uh they kicked me out they re- released me but the jail said no we're just gonna keep him for another 10 days and they had to come up with a new story a new story 
I would do the work and I would say, nope, see, that's not true. And they'd have to come up with another story and another story. And they did this. When I'm finally, I said, fuck it. And I just gave in. You know, they gave me an extra 10 days. You know, if you sue for um, illegal imprisonment, right? Illegal detainment or illegal, illegally imprisoned, I think. I'm not sure what the term is. It's about $1,000 a day. And they do it to a lot of people. I've, I've talked to a lot of people in there that they, they do. It's like common practice. They just fat finger the numbers, right? On the, uh, the records. So the records officer, which is Cupcella. Cupcella was the records officer. He's a dick. He's the one that shot the guy in Cambry County Prison years ago. He went out to his personal vehicle and grabbed his personal firearm and came in and shot the fucking guy, Tyrone Dixon, in the prison, Cambry County Prison. That happened. He still works there. He's the records guy. He's the guy in charge of putting all the records in from the courthouse. So he determines the date. Well, the paper does. The judge does. But he puts it in the computer and determines the date, your release date, for everybody that gets processed through there. So isn't it funny? You know? Just another one of these coincidences, right? So, look at that. Conspiracy Underground's evidence locker shared my post. Did you? I don't get it, Donovan. I don't get it. You just ignored my chat the entire fucking stream. You ignored my chat. I chatted probably 20 times. As you guys are talking, I'm chatting. You're, you're like, getting distracted as you're talking as if you're trying to read something. So, maybe you weren't reading a script, but what were you reading? My chats? Why weren't you talking about anything I'm saying? I was asking questions the whole time. Very good questions. So, I'm going to show you something here. Let's see here. Let's just search here. We'll type in Ed, right? Well, look at that. Ed's a liar. Ed's PFA. Ed's PFA, right? So, Ed's a liar. That's for damn sure. Let's look at the first one here. I'm going to show you the PFA, though. Oh, yeah. See, this is just, this is the games that they play. And they all do the same thing. That's why you know it's like a straight out of a handbook, right? There's no way all these people that are so spread out that don't know each other get the same, same things done to them with the same exact tactics. The, the people doing this to them use the exact same tactics. And that's just a coincidence? Come on, dude. So he says, uh, oh, so you know, just so you know, Virginia, counter to what John says, I don't talk smack about him when people bring him up. I change the subject. I'm just tired of hearing about his YouTube. That's bullshit. You wouldn't, if you were tired of hearing about my YouTube, you, you won't admit to who's talking to you. I talk to everybody in town, Ed. You're just lying. You just spin, spin doctor. This is what the counselors in the prison do to the inmates. They just lie to them. They spin them in fucking circles, tell them what they want to hear. And then that's it. And they're good. They don't have to. They don't have to fucking deal with them. They just lie to them, right? It's common practice. But the the truth, the absolute truth, is everything I've said is true. I've speculated on a few things, but I'll tell you if it's a speculation or not. I don't believe in going to spreading misinformation because I understand the damage it can do. So, this is copies of the actual PFA that my dad had to get on my brother, right? And this is, Ed was going online. This is before, this is back in 2020, right? Just imagine, back in 2020, this is, he knew about this back then. He, the tactics are the same, exactly the same. He was doing this to my dad. He was going on and he was saying things about my dad, like to paint a picture of him online, as if he was crazy to get him locked up, Right? And then he started talking about burning the house down, that he was worried my dad would burn the house down. That's whenever I said, I was real worried. And I said, dad, I, I think they might even, they might try to burn the house down if, if, cause they, they were, that was their house, right? They were getting that house. They, they thought that they would never have to move. That was going to be their house. They were looking into squatters rights. They were putting their name on all the receipts, making it look as if they were the ones that were paying for everything, but it's not true. Okay, my dad eventually asked for help with the fucking electric bill. Ed, he flipped. He flipped the fucking nut. And they started this shit. He said, okay, two months, you can either get out or you can pay $400 a month rent. Well, that ruins the whole plan, doesn't it? Right? The entire plan of them getting this house. 
That just ruins the whole plan. And they have to pay $400 a month rent. He can live there 37 years rent free. And then when my dad needs a little bit of help, this is what this is how he repaid him. This is the favor, the, what he got for it. And and Kimmy, you know, she lived there her most of her adult life. Okay, at this point, it had been 19 years. At this point, 18, 19 years she lived there. Okay, so I don't know whose plan it was or who, where they where they learned how to do this. I don't know. But I do know that they have the links, the ties to the type of people that would do this, right? The prison guards. I get stalked by, by a bunch of corrections officers, firemen, first responders, and then a bunch of people in the mental health, what do you know? The mental health fucking industry. Or special needs. Like, taking care of special needs people. That type of industry. And then local businesses. Certain local businesses that are like you know, control the community pretty much. They they make the rules, you know. They determine who who, should, who they want in their town and who they don't, you know. So he was in involved with a bunch of people at the news too. My brother was. He knew people at the Altoona Mirror, the photographer. They, I have a picture I could show you where they, they, he posed. It's fake. It's totally fake. He posed in front of his new house, shoveling the sidewalk, when we had this one big snowstorm in 2020, right? 2021, actually, I think. But anyway, it was December 16th. And you can see in the background how much snow there is. There's people in four-wheelers dressed with full ski masks and shit because it was bad out. And there's Ed and his loafers <laughs> on the sidewalk. It was already shoveled, okay? It was already shoveled first. I don't know if he did it or if Regis did it. Regis shovels a lot of the businesses in town. This, this, this kind old, older gentleman who is unfortunately easy to easy to convince you know he just does whatever whatever uh commander carl tells him to do or don yeckley whatever anyway that's a story for another day but ed's out there shoveling the snow you can see it in the picture that it was already shoveled and that he just went out there in his fucking loafers he's out there in like his slipper shoes pretending to shovel the snow you know what i mean meanwhile I tried to take him to work with me. I said, Ed, come on, why don't you come to work with me? Oh, my back, I, he can't work. He can't even climb up a ladder because his back hurts too bad, right? But he can shovel snow for the ultimate mirror for the, to pose on the front page of the paper. That's what I'm talking about here. He knows those people. He's involved with those people, okay? So I don't know what he told these people or if they believed what he was saying about, about my dad and about the house, but he was lying, that's for sure. How much they knew, how much they were involved knowingly, I don't know. I don't know. But he learned this somewhere. He learned it somewhere, right? How to do this shit. And then he was also his band, Born Evil, right? And Born in the Beanstalk. They played on a show, that the local news station here, WTAJ News, okay? They have a little, used to have a little show called We Are Central PA Live. And he was on there multiple times with his band. He was playing the bongos, you know? He's a bongo player. He said he plays the drums in here, but I've never seen him play the drums. He's had drums, but he didn't know how to play them. He plays the bongos, or the cajon, uh, or the triangle, or the shaker eggs, you know, tambourine. Never heard him play the drums, though. I don't think he knows how to read music. He didn't make it past the 10th grade. Never got his GED. Quit working in 2008, 2009. Hasn't worked since. I'm sorry. Let me correct that. He had a job, to, in the, as funny as it sounds, um, working for a company that takes care of special needs people, right? He was, uh, they just go to a house where there's a client that's, you know, somebody requires 24-7 supervision, right? Um, and he would, they just, you know, they just hang out at the house and they watch over and give them their meds and stuff like that. And He's a, a male, so they would put him with the harder, the harder to control tards, you know, the tards that, that sometimes you have to restrain. So six months, I believe, is all he lasted there, and he quit. He quit because it was too hard on him, right? Too hard on him. It's just too hard. He quit working construction because he felt like it, I guess. I don't know. And then for a few more months, years later... He worked at the distributor, the beer distributor, because it's, he had a drinking problem, right? 
that's funny. He said he quit drinking two weeks ago. He's been drinking heavily since as long as I can remember. So he actually had this one drink at the house that they called the Black Death, right? It was just everything. They would just dump all the leftover bottles into this one bottle and they called it the Death, Death or something, or Black Death. I don't know, but that's, yeah. The, he was <laughs> liquor too, not, not necessarily beer, liquor, a lot of liquor. So I'm not surprised he quit drinking because he, he was, last I heard, had health problems from it. So I don't know. But it, I, karma is what it is. It's karma. You get health problems because you're doing something wrong to somebody. And the universe says it's fucked up. And they're, they're letting you know that you can't keep doing this. Why am I so healthy, Ed? If I was on all these drugs and everything, and <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm so bad and I have all this potential. Why is it that I'm so healthy and you're having health problems? Hmm? Why is that, Ed? And why is it that I don't, I don't see what you're talking about whenever I go out in town all the time? All the time. Talk to lots of people. However, I never see you come out of your house and everybody I talk to says to me, what happened to, to your brother? What happened to him, dude? He's, you know? At one point, right after Trump got elected, he was going around pissing everybody off online. He was going to their page, right? And trying to get them all fired up and arguing with them. He's going to their page, Facebook pages, and arguing with them about politics. He's one of them people who doesn't know anything. He just enjoys arguing with people. Or it's his job, right? I mean, if you know somebody, I mean, you have to know somebody, right? And then you get a job as a paid troll. I'll show you the fucking uh, the video on the PowerPoint presentation that they use to train these idiots, right? Dave Atkins shared it. But it's from Truth Stream Media. Truth Stream Media. Look it up. She has an actual PowerPoint presentation that was leaked in 2014. And it's supposedly the, uh, the training, the manual and training for online deception. I mean, they're online trolls is what it is. It's, it's like counter, counter operations or counterintelligence online. They go in and they just they cause chaos wherever they need to, wherever they're told to go and do. But they have to have more help. These people are stupid, so they're not coming up with half the shit on their own. They're told. Somebody's handler is telling them the talking points. You know, they're giving them the talking points. Here you go. Just talk about that. You'll be good. Don't answer, don't answer the comments. <laughs> Make sure you private the stream when you're done, whatever, and then we'll push it out to everybody, right? Because there's a bunch of information that I've heard about, that people have seen about me that I've never seen and I can't find. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny, right? And the whole time, he used to go argue politics with everybody online, right? You can't get him to talk politics. He, he self-destructs. Like you, I don't know if you saw it on Match My Mix, right? Mix My Match. What, I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. You saw what happened whenever I just, just started mentioning about uh, the insurrection was a false flag operation. He fucking wigged. He about lost it. He, he admitted to being a, being a uh, truth or a fact checker, right? A fact checker. Well, <laughs> if you look, if you do any kind of research on the fact checkers, right? All they are, are like censor police. They, they, that's how they censor information. They get to choose. And this all came out in the Twitter files and everything else. This is already, everybody knows this, Ed. So you, when, if you don't realize that and you're going out admitting that you were a fact checker, right? And it was an insurrection, then that's all you got to do, buddy. People see the rest for themselves. You don't have to do anything else. You're, you're not convincing anybody. You're showing your true colors that either you are brainwashed and manipulated by the propaganda or you are the one pushing it, you know, pushing it out there. Seems to me because you already know the tactics and you already know how all this works and you're not very smart. You didn't make it past the 10th grade. Seems to me like it's the latter, like, this is your job. So then, of course, when somebody pisses you off, you know exactly what to do to them, don't you? Because this, is, this was your job, right? You took these skills. Because anybody can do this. It's just nobody would imagine that somebody would do this to them because it's, it's, it's a crime against... It's human rights violations, right? It's, it, it totally violates your civil rights, your privacy, 
it's just so wrong. So fucking wrong. It's not even funny. So, of course, nobody's going to expect that somebody's just manipulating, right? I'm the master manipulator, though. What have I manipulated anybody on, Ed? What, did I manipulate my way right into my mom's basement? Come on, dude. Let's be real here, Ed. He did this shit to my mom. He was trying to brainwash my mom whenever he had to find somewhere else to live because he got a PFA against him. My dad had to get a PFA against this motherfucker, his own son, because he was terrorizing him, literally terrorizing him in his own home, in his own home. And not only him, they recruited the kids to get involved. The kids were the ones recording him whenever he walked outside his bedroom. If he came out into his kitchen, the kids, they had the kids fucking recording him with their phones. As soon as he stepped into foot in the kitchen, they put their phones in and start recording him, calling him a creep and everything else. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? So, anything, I mean, you can, hey, you believe whatever you want to believe. I'm telling you, I'll admit, if something he says is true, I'll admit it. I have no problem admitting it. But the bullshit he said about getting fired and passing out at work is a bold-faced lie. He knows it. He quit. I still work there. How did, how did that happen, Ed? How did I get fired from a place where you quit? How would, please, <laughs> you know what I mean? Help me out there, Ed, you fucking retard. So after that, I mean, he would never, I lived in the apartments for four years, and for some reason, I could never figure out why, for some reason, he would never, he never stepped foot in my apartment. He never came to my apartment one time, and it was weird. This is before I knocked his teeth out, before I gave him a black eye. He just would not come to my house, and it didn't make any sense. I didn't, couldn't understand it. He was able to brainwash my dad. Like, listen, I get along with my dad just fine. But all he does is watch CNN, and he's brainwashed. He really, he's on this, it's weird. It's like anybody who doesn't know the truth hates Trump. You see what they get you to hate Trump? I don't understand where this hate's coming from. What did he ever do to you for you to be mad at him? <laughs> like, all these people have so much hatred for Trump. What did he do to you? You got to look at the big picture. He didn't do anything to anybody. The news has brainwashed you to believe he's some horrible, evil person. But have you listened to a single fucking Trump speech? Have you looked at the policies? Have you looked at his administration and actually seen what he said he was going to do and what he did? Have you looked at any of that? Did you... Did, did you notice the, the state that our country was in when he was president? Did you notice how good everything was? And then the day fucking Biden come in, right? After they stole the election, because they absolutely stole it. After they, that happened, did you notice how everything went to shit? Everything went to hell in a handbag. Did you notice that? Did you happen to notice that? Did you ever ask, stop to, you know, ask why that happened? What, <laughs> you know what I mean? What the hell could happen there, right? And now China is doing this stuff to their people. It's, it's out there. It's known, right? It's not even speculative. China is controlling their people with mass mind control uh, techniques and even technology, right? Mind control technology. And what do you know? Biden sold out to them, right? So isn't it convenient that our entire country seems to be under some type of mind control, right? To go against each other divide and conquer I, I mean it's right there in front of you and if you deny this is happening or you deny it's possible what the hell are you smoking I don't get it it just baffles me it's baffling I can't believe that I've seen a lot of people wake up a lot of people have woken up a lot of people who, who voted for Biden and you know believed all the hype believed what they said they, all they had to do was just look at the truth all they had to do was get the information. That's it. That information snapped them out of it. You know what I mean? When they seen the truth, the other, you know, just, just more information. That's it. That's the only difference. A little bit of information goes a long way. You know, people are easy to fucking manipulate, I guess. If you're lying to them and giving them false information, it's something I never did. Well, I can't say I never did that, okay? Years ago, I'm sure, I'm sure I've you know, told my fair share of lies here and there or to get out of trouble or whatever, you know, I'm, that's probably true. It's funny that he referenced that in the stream last night and he referenced a very particular incident that I've never talked about, but he seems to remember it and he seems to, to 
reference that one thing as the reason why I'm being gang stalked. But he doesn't believe in gang stalking. But I, I don't. I don't know. I I just don't know. I I don't think the state cops are gang stalking me at all. The state cops are the only ones that I I can honestly say are not involved in my gang stalking. Which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but I think my gang stalking is a local level is where it started because I pissed off the wrong cop, right? And then somebody who had the power to do this, you know, they they go around and talk to everybody, all your neighbors and everything, you know. There's a video showing that the FBI doing this, going around door to door, and they, they're asking if you have any information, you know, on anybody that, you know, it might be alarming to them or they have certain programs, you know, and they'll pay you for information. This is not fucking like a big secret. So, yeah, I believe, uh, I believe 100% that I'm right on this, that my brother has been a paid troll for a long time. It just, I just happened to say, help my dad before something bad happened. Before, he, you know, they killed him, took his house. He was getting sick all the time. And I would ask him what he ate and if he, if he left it, un, you know, unattended. And every time it was something that they could have put something in. He would eat soup all the time. And he'd put it in the microwave and then he'd, he'd go back into his room. He'd come back out five minutes later or something to get it. Every time he got really sick, really sick, there was a situation like that. Right, where somebody could have come down and dumped a bunch of bisine in his soup or something like that, right? And then when you look up, when you look up the actual reported cases of that, I mean, God knows how many people they you know do this that never get reported, but just the known cases where people go to the hospital suspecting that they were poisoned by you know by the bisine trick, right? You've seen it on the movies, like the Wedding Crashers. They do it. They put a little bisine in his drink, and he's on, he's hugging the toilet all night. Yeah, that's the thing. Don't ever fucking try it. You can kill somebody. You can kill somebody. It, it'll mimic, like, food poisoning. But you got to get to the doctor within 8 hour, eight to eight to 16 hours, like, pretty quick, and test for that specific thing to be able to detect it. So, you know, you see how this can work on somebody, and they're not, they're not going to think that they're, they were poisoned, especially if they had, met, you know... Like, like I said, normal people don't think like this. Because it's fucking evil shit. But that was happening to my dad. On several occasions. And it, after a while, it got to the point where I asked the question. I was like, I wonder if, I wonder if they're fucking poisoning them. They told their kids, their kids were not allowed to eat his food that he cooked. They, were, they told him they were not allowed to eat his cooking. He was a cook in the Navy, okay? He was a cook in the Navy. He, he makes excellent food. And he would always try to try to make meals for everybody, you know, big big meals. To this day, he's a great cook, fucking excellent cook. So they made up stupid excuses. Um, they told their kids they're not allowed to eat his cooking because they were worried about their kids' weight. If you've seen them now, you'd be like, well, I don't get it. Because they only got bigger. And I'm not trying to make fun of any, anybody. But that was that was just an excuse. Is all that was. That was a lame excuse. That that was. That's all it was. They were not worried about the the boy's weight at all. I'm sure of it, because they would eat junk food and shit, and they'd go out and they'd get something to eat, and they they wouldn't get him food on purpose. They did not. He would ask them what they wanted to do for dinner, right? And they'd be like, "Oh, I don't know," and they'd just shrug their shoulders. Then he'd go back into his room, and then they'd all take off and they'd go get food and they'd bring it back and eat it in front of him. So he was forced to cook his own meals and everything anyway. He's t he told me about this, dude. Like, he, he's, he's naive, you know? So even, even whenever I present this to him to this day, he's like, oh, I don't, like, he doesn't, he doesn't know what to say because I, he doesn't want to believe that that was true. Nobody wants to believe that that was true. That's horrible, right? But the way everything's unfolding, I mean, at what point do you, uh, you know, you've got to overcome that denial and just accept that this is this is common practice for certain people that are in these certain yeah, industries, uh, like the, well, let's say the prison industry, right? Um, Kimmy's cousin, she also has a, a family member that works for CPS, Child Protective Services, and they were called on us years ago, 
And I caught the pattern and I called to try to make a complaint because people were calling and making false claims on me and my ex-wife. And it just so happened they had an employee with the same last name. So whenever I inquired about that, instead of just being normal, right, they told me how, oh, now I got Chief Handler commenting again. So that means I'm on to something, right? Um, they had... The, they told me um, how they don't have to tell me, they don't have to disclose that information, and they're not going to, you know, they pretty much told me I'm right, you know. And then, without ever saying anything, without saying a word to Kimmy and Ed, without saying a word about our speculations, you know, about what we knew, Kimmy came up and, and told on herself, she went out of her way to say, oh, and by the way, by the way, I don't have a relative at CYS. She told me that. And just recently, I had somebody finally tell me after all these years how Kimmy came down to their house and used their phone and called CYS on us one day. And that was the call. So th that absolutely happened. That happened. She did this. It's, it's been confirmed by somebody else, unless that other person's lying. But I highly doubt they're lying. They thought it was fucked up that they did this, you know. So why wouldn't she call from her own phone? Why would... It's weird, right? She went down to the neighbor's house to use the neighbor's phone to call CYS because she knew. Because this is what they do. They cover their tracks. You know, this is common practice. So they know she was probably told to do it from this phone so that they can't be traced back. Right? It'll, it'll look like that other person did it. Right? Yeah, nice try. Nice try. You evil, evil bitch. Sorry. But you're an evil bitch. She would pour bleach on our clothes. Dude, when we were at work and my wife would, they would fight over the washing machine like like Kimmy would get up and put laundry in and just run the laundry the washer all day just so my wife couldn't do laundry this is the type of person she is I swear to God I'm not making this up and I'm not embellishing it okay she did this and then when my wife got excited because she'd call me at work you know and say say oh I finally got you know got to the washer I finally got to throw a little laundry in and then I come home and she's like hey, I want to show you something and then she shows me the clothes. Um, when she pulled the clothes out of the washer, they were all bleached. Not all of them, just the top. Just the top, the stuff that was on the top there. Like somebody dumped a bunch of bleach in. They went down, they opened the lid and dumped a bunch of fucking bleach on our clothes. Who does that shit, right? That's the evil shit that these people were doing. Now, if they wanted to not deny that and they want to act like, oh, I have potential and they just trying to help me, Right? You can believe that if you want. I'm telling you the truth, though. I have no reason to lie about this. I couldn't even imagine this stuff happening or somebody doing this stuff. If it hadn't happened to me, it's unbelievable, right? But when you hear all these other people who you don't even know, you, you have no idea, they're halfway across the country, halfway around the world, who have these exact same things happening to them, you, start, you can't help but put together a pattern, right? You can't help but be like, wow, what are the odds, right? What are the odds that this total stranger, with total different environment, everything else, and, you know, none of the same similarities have the same exact things happening to them? What do you know? Isn't that funny? I mean, I could go all day. What about all my evidence? I have videos of my brother gang stalking me, physically gang stalking me, videos. Now, what he's doing, if I don't, you know, if I don't make a complaint or anything, you know, technically what he's doing is legal, right? It's, it's not against the law, technically. But it, it's all the intent. If you can prove intent, you know, then it's a felony, right? So I'm claiming that he's, he's committing a felony, and he has, and I have the evidence to fucking show it. Now, he's, now he has added to it. He has admitted on here. He has admitted online, right? How he showed Conspiracy Underground, how to find my background my background report, which is a lie. He made that up. He had to have because who showed you, Ed? Who showed you how to find it? Where'd you find that? Can you tell me how to, how to find it? I'd love to know where to find that. I bet, you, I bet you wouldn't even... I bet you avoid that question like the plague because you guys are so stupid that you expose yourselves. Right? And you know what? As far as conspiracy underground goes, I'm so, you know, I call it like I see it. He was doing the same thing. So I don't want to be a hypocrite, right? So I'm going to try not to do that anymore. But, uh, but it is important, though, that we expose these fucking, these game players, the people that just come in and like Donovan and my brother just did in this stream. 
they come in here and just talk about certain things, making talking points, right? To make it, the viewer believe like certain things about a person, right? But never show any receipts. That you heard him say about the recording, about me calling Sarah Barrett, Barrett a federal agent. That never happened. That's a lie. But they use this tactic where they say that there's a recording, right? All they have to do is mention that there's a recording, right? That's the first time I've ever heard him say that. I've never even heard him say that before. But I bet you can't show that recording, Donovan. How much you want to bet you don't, you don't show any recording? How much you want to bet? If you do, I bet you it doesn't sound like me. Right? They might try. They might try to make it sound like me. Or maybe that's where Nerve Gorilla, Gorilla comes in. And he wants all these people to get in voice. They keep saying, oh, you need to go get in voice with Nerve Gorilla. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Why? So you can take little clips of my voice. So you can like clip my voice and then, and then turn it into some fake recording. I'm just saying. You know? It's, it's, it's very convenient. It's very funny. But Nerve Gorilla won't post the interview when I went on voice. No, he blocked me. He fucking started screaming at me and blocked me because I asked him. I got to get back to this. I asked him. This is what made, this is what set him off. And this is where the witness protection thing comes into it, right? Because he would have, if I would have figured him out, like if you're on to him, he flips out. He flips out and blocks you. Like when he was saying V2K isn't real, I said, what about the voice of God weapon? He flipped out and kicked me out that day. That's it. Real quick, right away. All I did was say, what about the voice of God weapon? Because he knows he can't deny that, right? He knows. So that destroys the whole fucking narrative. But the day that he finally blocked me, kicked me out, flipped out on me, blocked me, he said, I said to him, well, Nerve, what are you so afraid of? Showing your face. What's, what's going to happen, Nerve? You show your face and your name. What are you so afraid of? And he, he tried to do his thing. He tried to beat around the bush. He tried to change the subject. And I just kept asking the same question because he never answered it. I said, what are you afraid of? What is it that you're afraid of? You know, I'm just asking. I'm asking a genuine question because I'm trying to understand. Here I am being stalked and harassed and the cop tried to kill me on a couple occasions. And this is no lie. And I have no problem showing my face and my name. I ain't scared. What else do I have to be afraid of? So that's why I'm like looking at his situation like, what, what are you afraid of? Do you have people stalking and harassing you? Do you have people coming after you? Like, I get it now that you've, you've fucked over so many people and you could just say that. Well, I've pissed so many people off that <laughs> at this point, you know, I can't do that. But he didn't do that. I just said, what are you so afraid of? You know, and he flipped the fuck out, right? And he blocked me. And, but then afterwards, then I have several voicemails on my phone where he tries to contact me. All the time. He wants me to answer the phone. And it's only whenever I expose something, something big that they're trying to, they're trying to take control. They're trying to get control of the fucking vehicle again. Because it's out of control. Their runaway, their runaway fucking truck is about to fucking, about to smash a brick wall. And they know it. They're trying desperately to get control of it. And it's not going to happen. Sorry, it's not going to happen. You know, yeah, damn right I'm determined. Um, Ed, Ed mentioned this, that, that you know, once I put my mind to something, that I, I don't give up, right? And I don't, and I, and I never will. I will never stop. Never stop until this fucking shit is exposed and eradicated. And everybody, everybody in the public knows what it is and knows what to look for, right? That way they can't do it to anybody anymore because it's fucking bullshit. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy in the world. It ruins lives. People, it, it has caused people to kill themselves, I'm sure. I consider myself very strong-minded. And I'm sure any honest person would give the same fair assessment. I highly doubt they would look at me and say that I was crazy. And that's why they haven't really been able to, to say that. I think that uh, <laughs> I destroyed that narrative just with a simple sentence, you know, you, you can't call somebody crazy unless you have something to base it on, right? I mean, you can call them crazy, but you, you're exposing yourself if you can't base it on something. Because I can just present that. I can just say, why are you calling me crazy? That's weird, right? Why are you, what makes you say that? And they don't have anything, 
right? Because everybody knows that, that this stuff goes on. Nobody, nobody trusts the fucking feds anymore. Look what they've done, dude. Everything that they, they're doing right now is crazy how they're, how they're trying to persecute a fucking... They tried to... They tried to come after a sitting president of the United States of America. This is unprecedented. This is the DOJ. You know, the entire DOJ. I'm going to have to look into the, um, the, the uh, office. They, they created this like, task force to uh, investigate small town police departments and, and corruption and excessive use of force and basically centered around constitutional policing, right? Are, are the cops abusing their power and violating people's civil rights? And they look into all these individual cases and everything, and this is the DOJ task force. It's straight up to the top, right? And they, they come in, they said there isn't a police department too small to investigate. So your situation is not too small for them, right? Here in Patton, we have one or two cops. That's it. Like, it's as small as it gets. But they said 50% of the police departments in the United States, over 50%, over 50%, has 10 or less officers. Right? So that's that's why the problem's so bad, isn't it? I mean, there's a pattern there, right? And I started talking about the pattern, you know, with police. This pattern of behavior with police. And that's a nerve gorilla, you know, comes out to me again, attacking me. Because I don't think it's because he he feels personally attacked or anything. But I think it's because he, um, it's his job. I think he's being, t- you know, told to do it. Like, oh, here, here, here's your mission for today. If you, if you choose to accept it, you know, but. I'm sure that message self-destructs, right? They don't leave any evidence. They're not dumb. This is their game. So I just... It saddens me that I thought my brother was being genuine. Now, how long have I been saying Jesus Christ is my brother? How long have I been saying it? Telling everybody. Screaming it from the rooftops. Right? And, And they even... The fuckery so bad that they had people in the TI community. Already speculative people. Saying no, 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 right? Hey, Scott, if you're watching this, Scott, do you remember when I told you Jesus Christ is my brother? You said no, right? You remember that, Scott? Just saying, buddy, all right? I don't blame anybody for getting for being fooled. I, I don't believe anybody. I don't blame anybody at all for being fooled, because they're this is their game. Like I said, we don't it. They make up the rules. It's their game. We're forced to play it. So we have to try to, to figure out the rules as it goes and still try to win. It's, it's pretty tough, right? The, car, the deck is definitely stacked against us, without doubt. So I'm putting the pieces together, though. The patterns, right? So we got what um, it looks like election interference here basically doj coming after what does trump know what does trump know that that they're so afraid of they are absolutely like what is getting all these people in the doj to come after him like that Uh, there well there are people speaking out there's whistleblowers and they're attacking them now they're doing this to them right but what is it that, that he knows that they're so afraid of he tried to get the jfk files you know unclassified declassified but because of uh, Perp Pompeo, Pompeo the Perp, Mike Pompeo, yeah, he's he's a sleazy sleaze fucking sleaze basket from way back. He tried to kill fucking Julian Assange, dude, and it's not even a secret. He tried to have Julian Assange assassinated. Yeah, that's Mike Pompeo, our Secretary of Foreign Affairs or Secretary of whatever it is. Yeah, he's the guy that that's he be he be the one putting the whole. Global reset thing together, right? Wouldn't he? The director of foreign affairs, right? And that's what this is, right? Now, we have our government for the people, of the people, by the people. We need to get a hold of it. We need to get in there. We need to get rid of these fucking programs that are not needed. They don't do any good. Let's see some results. Oh, they're classified. Oh, the results are classified too? You can't show us what you've done? Like terrorism. Since terrorism became a thing... Can, can I see all the terrorists you guys caught? Can we see all the terrorists you guys thwarted their plans? 
Can we see that? I'd like to see that list of, you know, how much all this money and secrecy going into it. You know what I mean? What we gave up our privacy. We sacrificed our privacy without even knowing. We didn't really get a say in it. But we sacrificed our privacy for this, right? The war on terror and all this, okay? So can we see some results by now? You know, it's only been 20 years, 20 some years. Can we see some results? I joined the fucking military because of that, because of 9 11. I joined shortly after, a year and a couple months after 9 11, when, when it was right whenever we all knew that we were getting into, you know, we were going to war pretty much in Afghanistan. That's when I chose to join the military. That's whenever I said, okay, you know, I didn't do it at the time, I did not do it for my country. I didn't do it for anybody but me to pay for college. And I'm not going to lie. But they teach you, um, they teach you one of the main things, one of the, the seven core values of the army, one of the army core values. You know what it is? Integrity. And that, you know, that stuff stuck with me. You know, the, the military trained me on this stuff. It stuck with me and it's still with me to, that, to this day. Selfless service, right? You know, selfless services. Yeah, you guys call it narcissism. Um, integrity, duty, honor. What are the other ones? Um, this is just off the top of my head. You got to remember, it's been 20 years. Well, 19, 18 years since I've been in the military. But you got selfless service, honor, duty, integrity. Is respect one of them? I think respect might be. But the main one, the main one that I want to focus on is integrity, right? Integrity. And there's not really a, any kind of way to measure somebody's, someone's integrity, right? Because it's the ability to do the right thing, especially when no one's looking, right? The ability to do the right thing because it's right and that's it, right? No shortcuts, you take the long way because it's the right thing to do. Not for any other reason, you know. You don't look over your back and, and, and see that nobody's paying attention and, and then just cheat because you can, right? That's where integrity comes into play. And somebody with integrity wouldn't be able to do this shit and lie like, like these people are doing. They don't have any integrity at all. They have no integrity because they know the truth. They, they're the ones, they know the truth. And they're telling you something they know that's not true. For what? Why? And, and you can't have integrity at your job, if that is your job. If that is your job, right? To make up lies about somebody. And then they leave you on your own to do your job. <laughs> and you do your job, right? You don't have integrity. Sorry. You don't get to, it's not a double standard thing. You don't get to double dip like that no you don't have integrity if your job is literally the opposite of integrity no no you don't sorry i don't care if they tell you you're batman or not you're not batman hate to tell you but you're the joker you are absolutely the joker the fucking joker maybe in my brother's case he's like the fat little penguin or something but he sure as hell ain't batman i'll tell you that so this is the pfa this is um something he he said on facebook he started this post he sprayed my dad in the face with cleaner okay he set up a false flag had his kid recording it right who does that that's not normal hey record your grandfather if he comes out of his bedroom because he's crazy right it's crazy so he tried to set up my dad to be, get violent right he wanted him to hit him to do something violent so that they could use that against him they tried to get me to, to pull my gun on somebody. They had somebody um, to, to try to get me to do something. And then the, the person put their hands on me and everything, right? Because I wear a pistol. And they, they, I caught what they were doing. They tried to get me to pull my pistol. Because you can't do that. You can't pull your gun on somebody. That's against the law. Unless you plan on shooting them because you're in fear of your life. And then in which case that you have to make a case for self-defense. But you don't get to... No, you don't get to pull it out just because somebody's you know pissing you off that's against the law and responsible gun owners know this which i am so they tried to do this to my dad in his own house you know they're not getting along 
Ed's already planting the seeds online to everybody. Boo hoo, boo hoo, boo hoo. Oh, my daddy's crazy. Uh, pity me, pity me. I have to live with a crazy person. You know, it's like normal people would look at that like, no, you don't. Why are you even, why are you bitching? Go move out. Just move out, you know? But that wasn't the plan. The plan was not to move out. It was to get him committed, right? So in this particular situation, my dad had a, a guitar and a chord, right? An electric guitar and a chord. And Ed t- already took over his entire fucking uh, recording. His, my dad's addition for his retirement, you know, his jacuzzi suite addition that he built on the house with his money. Ed took that. Ed took over that. That was his little recording studio where he'd play the bongos and record it because he does know about technology. He's lying to you and he says he doesn't. He's full of shit. Um, so my dad says, oh, well, he tries to get his guitar, you know, and he didn't have a chord, right? So this is in the kitchen at a spot where there's only one, you know, like just one path to walk through just in this one little spot here. And Ed stood in front of him and he, my dad said, well, where's the, the chord? You know, I had a chord with this guitar. Where's my chord at? And Ed said, oh, don't worry. I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Like wouldn't let him go in his own house. Wouldn't let him go into his own addition that he built that Ed took over. Right? It's like, who do you think you are, Ed? It's his house. But he planned this because right there, right at that that fucking choke point in the kitchen, right, where you, you can't even step around somebody, there's like, he, if you're standing in the way, you're standing in the way. And that's where he had his kid posted up there to record it, right? I mean, look at it. Like, this is zoomed in and everything, but... He had him sitting there recording it so that, but he screwed up because the bottom of the recording of the video, you can see the spray bottle that's in my brother's hand. You think he was cleaning? No, he wasn't cleaning. He was was going to use that. That was his plan, right? Spray him in the face, get him pissed off, get him to hit me. And then you record it, buddy, you know, to his kid. You can hear his kid laughing in the video. I don't have the video, but this, I've seen it. Ed made sure that he blocked me. Without ever talking to him, without ever commenting on it, all I did was saw it. I saw it one time, right? And then I told my neighbor, who could still see it, I told her to, to save it, right? To try to, to save that. She saved it, and then boom, she was blocked, I was blocked, just like that. Right? And I had never commented, never said a damn thing, right? But he went out of his way to block me. See, this is somebody who is... Skilled in censoring information in propaganda, right? They have to paint their own narrative, so they have to block out the truth. It's the only way they their lie works, right? And they don't care if they convince everybody. They only need to convince certain people to get their way, right? Like law enforcement and the courts, and you know, that's the people that they're already with, working with, right? It's the people who target me. So, my brother said, "I'll get your cord." No, you don't need to go down there. I'll get your cord. And my dad said, well, there's one right there. He, like, points at it. You know, it's just right on the other side of Ed, on my brother. And Ed said, no, you won't, you know. And my dad said, yeah, well, there's one right there. I'll just just take that one. My brother steps in front of him, right, and then sprayed him in the face with cleaner. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not embellishing. That's exactly what happened. But his arm with the spray bottle, okay, and this is important. His arm never lifted. His elbow never bent. He didn't lift up his arm to spray him. He held his arm down by his side, but then pointed it. Did you ever try to do that? Did you ever take a spray bottle? Try to point it up at somebody's face while holding it down by your side. That's not easy to do, right? That's not easy at all. He would have had to have had this planned out ahead of time. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like he reacted to my dad and sprayed him in the face. It was set up. And he tried to keep it so that the spray bottle was down out of the video, out of the view of the video. So my dad was mad. Oh, he was real mad, real mad. And he, (laughs) I give him credit because I would have fucking plowed him. I would have absolutely plowed him, but he didn't, but he did react. He spit back and he spit in his face afterwards. My brother sprayed him in the face with cleaner. My dad stepped back, shook his head a little bit and then hawked a big fat one right in his face. I can't say I blame him one bit. 
That's what that type of person deserves. Anybody who's going to do that to their own fucking father like that, you deserve a lot worse than that, my friend. A lot worse than that. The fact that you're going to come out and, and say, you don't, you're not interested in fighting anymore. That's what you said, dude, on my birthday, right? That's what you said. And then the next day, you go out of your way to come on Donovan's stream. What do you know? Donovan, who almost had me fooled. Almost had me fooled, right? Then he goes on as a live stream. And then I, I, I said this to my daughter was standing here. I said, I said, oh, he's, he's on panel. I said, he's okay. I said, watch. As soon as I've turned this on and watch, it'll probably close. This is what they do. Anytime that there's something they're trying to push a narrative and then they don't want me to see it. But, you know, sometimes they have somebody there in real time telling them, you know, oh, shit, he's watching or whatever. They have to have to because I get on as soon as I turn the live stream on. This has happened to me several times in the past where it's if it's something they don't want me to see. They're trying to push a narrative about me. I turn the damn live stream on and boom, they just they just shut it off real quick like that. Like, all right, well, I'm out of here. Nerve Gorilla has done it. Um, trying to think who else. Other streams where they just end it right away, abruptly. And, I, and then you try to watch it back, but it's privated. You can't, it's like, what were they saying? <laughs> you know? And after it happens so many times, you realize that, okay, I see the game. I see what the game is. They know what I'm doing because they watch me inside my house and everything else. And whenever I'm occupied or I'm distracted doing something, that's when they say, oh, hurry up, get on a live stream. You can do this now. He's doing this, you know, because that's what the situation was whenever this happened. But lucky enough, um, I, I find out, you know, he's doing a live stream. I don't monitor this pe these people. I don't know when they're going to do it. It just conveniently they do it only when I'm distracted and I'm not looking, right? So I got on and I told my daughter, who was right here, I said, I said, yeah, watch. As soon as I go on here, he's going to shut the stream down. And he, he did. He did just that, right? I start watching it back. I try to start watching it back. And then I hit record on my phone. As I'm recording it, right, boom, it privates it. This is after like, like minutes. Like minutes went by. He ended the stream and then I could rewind it and stuff. I was able to do that. And then all of a sudden, I was not able to. Now, this stream that he just did, there's an option. I know there's an option where you can, um, <clears throat> you can choose to not allow rewinding while the stream's going on. You can, you can have it so that the people can't rewind it you know, unless they publish it afterwards. You know? So you can live stream and make it so that people have to watch you live. They can't rewind it. So the first one that he had, like I said, you could rewind it. Until I did that and tried to record it. Then all of a sudden, how do they know to do this? You know what I mean? Why? Why? Ask Donovan, why did you change your live stream so now that you, you all of a sudden can't rewind it now, Donovan? Why'd you do that, Donovan? Why did you do that? And he'll come on and do live streams saying that he gave me a panel. He gave me a platform to come up and talk, but I just won't come up and talk. No, I'm fucking not refusing. I missed it every time. It, just conveniently, right? So this time... He comes on and does this stream that you just watched. And I start chat. I chatted that entire fucking stream. I chatted. They ignored it. They, they even said at one point they said something about uh, me not coming up whenever he gave me the chance, you know, and that he feels bad for me and it's sad. Right. <laughs> and uh, no, did I just want to play games and make videos back and forth? No, buddy. Sorry. I tried. I tried. You shut the stream down. Isn't that funny? You shut it right down. And then I remembered something in the, in the past. It was real... I can't believe I forgot this. It's my fault, you know what I mean? Screw me once, shame on you. Screw me twice, shame on me. So, do you remember in my videos a while back whenever Abe had Donovan as a moderator? Yeah, Abe had Donovan as a moderator. And I had no problem with Abe at all, you know? Um, I would watch his live streams and stuff and chat. Well, I went in this particular time and I saw my brother in there, right? I saw my brother in the chat as Jesus Christ, okay? Oh, yeah, Nerf Gorilla. Yeah, sure, Nerf. He'd just make more excuses too. But I, I uh, saw my brother in the chat, so immediately I just went right to Pat. This is Pat and Perps, okay? This Because it's my brother. You heard him try to say it was Will, Will Orth, right? I don't believe that. It's possible. But I don't believe that. Because there's videos that, my, that were on there that, that even Will wouldn't have had access to the pictures. 
unless they're online somewhere, I don't know about. There's there's pictures of my family from years ago and everything else that. And they put they posted stuff about my other brother that we all knew nothing about, right? I never mentioned about my other brother at all. Ed is the one that brought all that up, and my daughter's fucking pissed. By the way, Ed. Yeah, Ed, your niece. By the way, yeah, she's she's not very happy with you. She was gonna chat in this stream. But you know what? She didn't want to start any trouble. You, you realize that? You, you see how sick you are in the head? She didn't want to start any trouble. That's why she didn't chat. Ed. But she just wanted to let you know that, that she, she'd appreciate it if she, has to, if she would quit having to hear the name of her victim asshole. Right? Donovan too. That was yesterday's. That was what you were trying to do two days ago, right? Henry, 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 right? You fucking asshole. Yeah, my daughter said, Thank, thanks very much. She, she has to hear that now, right? Because I never brought this shit up. That's Nerve Girl, Ed, Donovan. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. You guys are sick in the fucking head. You need help. Seriously. You need help. How do you fucking... How do you sleep at night? How do you look yourself in the mirror? Do you really think you're Batman or something? Is that what it is? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? So, this is my brother's PFA. Here it is. Here's page one of 22. Actually, wait one second. One of them is Kim and one of them is Ed, right? Now, they denied Kimmy's because there was never, not actually any... My dad didn't have any actual physical evidence of Kimmy threatening him, okay? But my brother Ed, they, they did. So they just focused on that, you know? And then Ed, whenever he got the PFA against him, he just parked outside the house and sat there all day outside the house while Kimmy and the kids terrorized my dad all day for 45 days. Into, you know what I mean? And then at 45 days, they revisited it and they extended the PFA for three years. They do that for a reason. You know that, right? They don't just do that for no reason. You know, it, at that point, if there's re if it's not true and not founded, if it's not legitimate, a legitimate cause, then they'll just drop it at that point at 45 days, right? But no, they didn't. They extended it for three years because that judge was very concerned with what she saw. Because my brother went into court and admitted, he admitted to the judge that he was threatening my dad with a sword, he literally physically threatened my dad with a fucking weapon. Okay? That happened. And the judge said, what's wrong with you? Okay? But here's Ed's PFA. And I'll share this with anybody who wants to see it. It's public information. So this is, this is Ed, Ed Hofer, okay? And oh, yep, yep, I'm sharing this private personal information, right? <laughs> He's going to try to gaslight me. What are you sharing that stuff for? Look at that. Walter E. Hofer Sr. Plaintiff versus Walter E. Hofer Jr. That's Ed's real name. Walter Edward Hofer Jr. Protection from abuse. Notice of hearing and order. Right? Now you can read it, but the gist of it is it got extended for three years. And you know what's funny? My brother asked, he said that there's no PFA now. He said that. I talked to my dad about this. He, he had never heard anything. He didn't get notice, anything. He was told that, that, they would have to, that he, they would have to revisit it, that the court would have to have another hearing. That's what he was told three years ago. Did they just have a hearing without him? Did they, did they steal his mail? The, the notice of a hearing? I mean, wouldn't it be convenient if, if they supposedly mailed something out to him and he just didn't get it, right? Isn't that funny how that works with your mail, right? Am I just crazy because you know, I have bad luck and that's why certain pieces of mail don't come to me? And I, like I told my dad, I said, this is what they do. Just two days ago, he told me yesterday, I went up and helped him. And he told me how the day before that, Ed drove by really slow and damn near stopped in front of his house. For what, Ed? Why'd you do that, Ed? Because you don't want to fight anymore? Is that why you did that? Is that why you did that, Ed? 
Because I don't think that's why you did it. I'm pretty sure you're gassed, You're just gang-stalking him even more because you're so fucking retarded. A lot of it's just a template, you know what I mean? It's a standard template, and they just fill in the information here. Hey, look at that. And these, like I said, these are public records, public information. Anybody can get this information. And I'm not trying to dox him, right? This is a result. This is a consequence of your actions, Ed. Okay? It's not cool to dox people. It's not at all. It's also not cool to go online and spread lies about somebody. That's not cool. And I told you this was going to happen. I told you I was going to do this shit, right? And I told you that if you don't knock it off, right, that this is what's going to be the result, right? I'm just going to... Because there's a whole bunch more. I got a whole bunch more where this came from. A lot more. It was never my intention to smear your name, Ed. Not at all. And, and I'm genuine with that. That I truly mean that, that my intentions are not to make you look bad. Okay? I never wanted to do that. You just... I guess you just really want to look bad. I don't know. Is it your job? I don't, I don't understand the motivation. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why somebody would do something like this. That they have to be able to look far enough ahead and think... Well, if I do this, they're going to they're gonna say this or that. You know what I mean? Like, you don't, don't... Don't you think about those things, Ed? So, I haven't even read this myself. I'm curious what it says. Defendant shall not abuse, harass, stalk, threaten, or attempt to threaten... To use physical force against any of the above persons in any place where they might be found. There's the address. Non confidential address from which defendant is excluded or any other permanent or temporary residence where plaintiff or any other person protected under the order may live. Plaintiff is granted exclusive possession of the residence. Defendant shall not have, shall have no right or privilege to enter or be present on the premises of plaintiff or any other person protected under this order. And they tried to, they tried to get in the house. They tried to get like, um, like five hours in the house and make my dad leave. They thought they, thought they were going to come there on this one day and my dad had to let them into the house unattended for hours right and he wouldn't let them they were supposed to go get an order from the court they were supposed to provide a list of the stuff that they were going to take out right they had the opportunity to do that but they didn't do it so then they they claimed that my dad stole all their stuff that's not how that went you guys just didn't do what you were supposed to do and he has every right to be concerned about leaving you in that house unattended for five hours hell when he was there, you guys took all the light bulbs out, the whole house. You took all the light bulbs out of the entire house. You were coming to my mom's house, dude. You didn't need any light bulbs. What'd you need light bulbs for, asshole? But you took all the light bulbs out. Then you took candy bar and candy bars and shoved them down in the light sockets. I mean, I couldn't even make that up, right, if I wanted to. Because I remember when it happened, when my dad told me about it, I couldn't help but laugh at first because it's like, oh my God, what the fuck, are you serious? And yeah, oh yeah, I, I pulled them out myself. And it wasn't just him and her. It, they went in and they split up and they all went separate directions. It, you know what I mean? They just, they wreaked as much havoc as they possibly could. They terrorized him. Is what, it's not just like a case of simple, you know, Senior abuse. No, they were fucking terrorizing him. And then they told him, oh, just wait. When 45 days are up, we're coming back. Oh, yeah. Then they threatened him and everything else. It's just sad. It's just fucking... It's horrible. So what do we have here? Is there any other actual um, juicy information in here? I'm just curious. Well, the defendant is directed to relinquish to the sheriff or the appropriate law enforcement agency any firearm, other weapon, or ammunition listed in Attachment A to temporary order, which is in, incorporated herein by reference under defendant's control 
or in defendant's possession. Defendant may relinquish any firearms, other weapons, or ammunition to the sheriff or the appropriate law enforcement agency. As an alternative, defendant may relinquish firearms, other weapons, or ammunition to a third party provided defendant and the third party first comply with all the requirements to obtain a safekeeping permit. Defendant must relinquish any firearm, other weapon, ammunition, or firearm license ordered to be relinquished no later than 24 hours after service of this order. If, due to their current location, firearms, other weapons, and ammunition cannot reasonably be retrieved within the time for relinquishment, defendant shall provide to the sheriff or the appropriate law enforcement agency an affidavit listing the firearms, other weapons, or ammunition in the current location no later than 24 hours after the service of this order. Well, he never had any guns, my brother, so... Failure to timely re, uh, relinquish any firearm, other weapon, ammunition, or any firearm license shall result in a violation of this order and may result in criminal conviction under the Uniforms Firearms Act. Do, 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 do. The following additional relief is granted. Prohibited from stalking. As defined in Section 18 of the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Code, Criminal Code, or harassing, it says right there, or harassing, as described in the same section, uh, the following family member or family and household members of the plaintiff. Well, you know, I, I could be considered a household, you know, family, right? But I'm not on the, I'm not listed on here because you did it to me over here at my house too. So it was just my dad, like I said. Everybody that lived with him was doing this to him. You know, what's, what the fuck is somebody supposed to do? He didn't even call and report this. Somebody else did because they they couldn't stand by and watch it. And they knew my dad wouldn't do this. He wouldn't. My dad did not report him and would not report him. It's his son. You, you know what I mean? But th this is the shit that Ed does. As soon as he moved into his new house, he put a post on Facebook showing my dad's car, right? And a picture of a handful of nails. And then he said... Oh, I just seen this person because he, he wouldn't mention my dad online because he was court ordered not to. But he says, I seen this person showed a picture of his car and then showed a picture of his hand in a handful of nails. And he said, look what I find in the driveway after I just seen this person drive by. And I promise you, my dad did not throw a fucking handful of nails in Ed's driveway. Yeah, that's a fucking lie, dude. This is the sick fucking shit that they come up with. Lies. Right? Do, 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 do. See, this is... I should have reported it to the state police. Because that's why they tried the... The, the one perp, they tried to leave a comment... Um, that said about uh, that this one certain car that drives by here is a uh, is the chief of police for the state police, <laughs> right? But it also proved to me something because I said that to my dad, in just standing next to my dad in private. I didn't put a video about it. I didn't say anything. It was the next day that I got this comment about this certain particular car, right? So that that gave it away too that they can hear what I'm saying on the phone on the phone you know what I mean that or they have his car bugged I was outside standing outside next to my dad's car and they they heard that you know how did they hear that I don't know and my brother admitted to me he knew who the person was because I said about this one um this one profile right online I said nice try you know this one comment you gave yourself away by calling a chief of police of the state police don't have chief of police and Ed texted me after that and told me who it was. And then I asked, how do you know that that was Dave Shaw? How did you know that was Dave Shaw, Ed? Right? I didn't know it was Dave Shaw. I had no way of knowing, right? Unless I traced his account back because he changed his name so many times. But this, this person, Dave Shaw, he was talking about, actually got a hold of me, right? And then even came to my house one night, right? He was in, in this house one day. And I talked to him for, for an hour or two, right? And then he tried to, he, it was so bad acting, such bad acting. He tried to tell me they do this to him and everything else. And he's feeding me all this stupid bullshit about it. 
and I, I didn't say anything at the time, but I, I knew he was lying. I knew he was making it up, right? And that explains things. Like, I asked the question, Ed, how did you know that was Dave Shaw, Ed? How did you know that was Dave Shaw, Ed? Please, how did you know that was Dave Shaw? I'll ask again. You know, I haven't gotten an answer, but I'll ask even louder. How'd you know that was Dave Shaw, Ed? Because there's no, nothing about any of the comments he left that gave it away. He told me who he was in his, in his, uh, in person. He, you know, told me that that was him and everything. And then changed the name of his account a couple times and I lost track of it. But Ed knew who that was. How did you know who that was, Ed? Please help me out there. How'd you know who that was? If you weren't, if there isn't a group of people colluding together working together to stalk and harass me and my dad, right? It's gang stalking. It's what you're doing, okay? I mean, I don't know how much evidence this person would need, right? But you know where I'm going to go? To the state police. Because it's clear that you don't want me to go to the state police. You tried to gaslight me into thinking that they're part of it. So, like I said, you, you do this to yourself, Ed. You absolutely do this to yourself. So this says 12 months. So I think, I, if I remember correctly, the way it went was there was the initial one for, what, 45 days? And then that, I don't remember them having a 12-month one. I remember there being the initial one like a week after. And then 45 days later, they revisited it. And to my knowledge, it got extended for three years. This says 12 months. I don't know. And my dad wouldn't have even read this, so... But it was effective until otherwise modified or terminated by this court after notice and hearing. After notice and hearing. That's what I saw where I was like, well, we, he never got a notice. There was never a hearing. So according to this document, that PFA is still in effect. According to this document, there has never been a notice or a hearing. I, I, I specifically address this with my dad and talk to him about it. He was wondering too, he's, he's wondering why, you know, why he didn't get anything on it because it's been three years already. The three year mark would have just came up here. Like, I think, or maybe it, it still has yet to come up. I'm not sure. I didn't look at the dates, exact dates, but, or what date they go off of, you know. And defendant is hereby notified that failure to obey this order may result in arrest as set forth. Violation of the order may result in charge of indirect criminal contempt, consent of plaintiff to defendants, return to the residence, shall not invalidate this order, which can only be charged for modified through the filing of appropriate court papers for that purpose. If defendant is required to relinquish any firearms, other weapons, ammunition, or the firearm license, those items must be relinquished to the sheriff or the appropriate law enforcement agency within 24 hours of the service of this order. As an alternative, blah, 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 blah. we read that already. Let's see. Defendant is further notified that violation of this order may subject him or her to state charges and penalties under the Pennsylvania Crimes Code under Section 18 and to federal criminal charges and penalties under Section 18 and the Violence Against Women's Act. Now, that's what the name of the act, but it's, it's against not just women, right? So, here's the notice to the sheriff, police, and law enforcement officials. Now, I did report this to the sheriffs one day, and they told me I had to report it to the cops. So... I don't know. But the sheriff, I have evidence to suggest the sheriffs are involved in my gang stalking shit too. So I don't know who they know at the courthouse or what, but it certainly wasn't Judge Ber Judge uh, yeah, Judge Bernstein. Or no, Judge... It was one of the female judges up there that, that handed Ed's ass to him, basically. But this order shall be enforced by the police department or sheriff who has jurisdiction over the plaintiff's residence or any location where a violation of this order occurs... 
or where defendant may be located. If defendant violates paragraphs 1 through 6 of this order, defendant shall be arrested on the charge of indirect criminal contempt. An arrest for a violation of this order may be made without warrant based solely on probable cause. Whether or not the violation is committed in the presence of a police officer sheriff. So I call up there and tell them you violated it. Let them know. They can just come and arrest your ass just like that, Ed. Then they'll ask questions later. But subsequent to an arrest, the law enforcement officer or sheriff shall seize all firearms, other weapons, and ammunition, blah, 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 blah. During prior incidents, uh, da, 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 da. so... Let's see what else further. There's 20 some pages, so. But there was no firearms. To my to my knowledge. I don't think it had any firearms. Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. Right? Court of Common Pleas, civil cover sheet. So this is 2020. 2991. There's your docket, okay? If you want to look up the docket number, you can look this up on your own. This was a petition. Commencement of actions. Let's see. Non-domestic relations restraining order. Really? It's non-domestic relations? Oh, not domestic relations. Okay, that's uh, custody. Petition for protection from abuse. There's your address versus there's Ed, right? There's Ed's 5'10", 170 pounds. Yeah, that, that, was, <laughs> that was a couple years ago. He ain't 170 pounds now, I'll tell you that. Ten eleven nineteen eighty three. 1983 oh, look, there's your birthday. Lordy, lordy, look who's 40, right? I am filing a petition on behalf of myself. Do, 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 do. See what else we got here. And I have uh, receipts, too, of the shit he was saying online. I'll show you after this. Defendant is an adult. Yeah, I beg to differ. He doesn't act like one. Look, the defendant has been determined to not be a perpetrator. Really? It says that? A perpetrator meaning what? A perpetrator of what? It says the defend defendant. Oh wait, what is it? What is this list? A numbered list for what? So that just means he hasn't had any charges pressed against him yet, I believe, right? But here it says on or about Wednesday, August the nineteenth, twenty twenty, approximately four thirty p.m. Let's zoom in on this here. I want to read this. I've never read it yet. Location, my house. My son lives in my house. He doesn't allow me anywhere in the house other than my bedroom. I went to the basement and he had his cleaner in his hand and he sprayed it in my face. After that, he keeps it in my hand to threaten me with it. I don't feel safe in my own home now. I'm afraid of what will happen if he does get more physical because I've had three discs taken out of my neck. Yeah, he just got surgery done on his, uh, he had his vertebrae fused together. Has the defendant used or threatened to use any firearms or other weapons against the plaintiff or other minor children? That's not technically true. He threatened my dad with a sword. The judge actually told him how stupid he was. The judge said, do you realize what you're admitting to me? You know, you, you're admitting a crime right now. You know, he admitted to the judge. That's why she extended it. But they must know somebody. I don't know. Let's see. Let's 
the sheriff, police department, law enforcement agency. Okay, so it does say Pennsylvania State Police Evansburg there. There is an immediate and present danger of further abuse to defend, from defendant. Plaintiff is asking the court to evict and exclude defendant from the following residence. For the reasons set forth above, I request that the court enter a temporary order and after hearing a final order, that would do the following. So here are the rules. Restrain defendant from abusing, harassing, stalking, threatening, or attempting or threatening to use physical force against plaintiff or the minor children in any place where plaintiff or the children may be found. Evict exclude defendant from plaintiff's residence and prohibit defendant from attempting to enter any temporary or permanent residence of plaintiff. Prohibit defendant from having any contact with plaintiff or the minor children, which that he violated that when he stole the lawnmower, or minor children in person, by telephone, or in writing. Now they, listen, obviously I can't prove who's doing it, but they call his phone like 70 times a day. And it's not telemarketers. I've tried. I've tested this. I've tried to answer the phone and they hang up every time. Can't even talk to anybody. That's my brother doing this to him. Like fucking, I, I truly believe it. It's just, because they can, it's, it's only whenever he's trying to do something or I'm trying to talk to him about something just to fuck with him where he has to go get his phone or gets distract him, whatever. You know, they do this to him. They don't do it to me because they know, they know that, that I'm, my determination and, and, you guys claim I'm really good at looking stuff up. Where do you get that from? I don't even know what you're talking about. But I won't stop till I get some kind of answers about something. So you don't do it to me because you know, you watch everything I do. And you know that, that I've looked into the phone shit. And so that's why I don't get the fucking phone fuckery as much anymore. And as soon as you tried it, I, I made videos about it. You guys had people, like weird people calling me. And then I, I literally called them back and recorded it. And... <laughs> And and it just what 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 do you know the connections of the person that that happened to answer the phone happened to be the niece of somebody else who was who was harassing me in my comments right it's just you can't make this shit up right do, 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 do. prohibit defendant from acquiring or possessing firearms. Order defendant to pay costs on this action, including filing and service fees. Order defendant to pay plaintiff's reasonable attorney fees, which he didn't go after him for anything. Grant such other relief as plaintiff requests or the court deems appropriate. Order police, sheriff, or other law enforcement agency to serve defendant with a copy of this petition. Any order issued and the order for hearing, plaintiff will inform the designated authority of any address addresses other defendants residents where a defendant can be served and here's the verification my dad signed as the petitioner and it was filed august 21st 2020 but like i said this was supposed to be three years and it only said 12 months on that paper so and he says, I guess defending yourself and your family against an aggressive boomer can land you a PFA. Who knew? Guess I'll need a place to stay for a little while. That was my brother. Yeah, defending yourself. Ed, he wasn't, he was trying to get, he was, he was just trying to walk through his house to get uh, something that belonged to him. And you stepped in his way, dickhead. And then sprayed him in the face with cleaner. See that? And then you know what they argued in the comments? That it was it was pet in uh, like pet safe. It was safe for your pets. That's their argument. That they they checked first. They double checked first. They even said this. Like, no, no, it wasn't it wasn't the bad stuff. We made sure. What the fuck are you talking about? That means you planned the whole thing. You planned on doing this. You guys are sick. And then here is Kimberly Jean Mushkit. This is what they're saying. Adam Bader, this is how he acts at home. This is, Adam was calling him out, saying, nah, that's not what I've seen. Let's see. And then, see what Ed does? See what my brother does? Because I told him not to bring the pedophile who raped my niece to our home. Now, this is what my daughter had to see in school. 
right? We managed to keep that low, you know, low profile so my daughter would never have to fucking relive it, right? But this is what my brother did. And he told me he was going to do this the night before. And I told him I was going to knock his fucking teeth out again if he did. I said, no, you're not going to fucking turn it around and try to get the attention off of you guys and try to, you know, I said, you're not going to do that because everybody's going to say, well, what are you talking about? And then they're going to go and they're going to ask Delilah and she's going to see it. And then I'm going to get pissed and I'm going to knock your teeth out. I explained this to him ahead of time. So even knowing this, even after I explained it all to him, he still did it. And exactly what I said was going to happen, happened. So Adam Biter said, Ed Hofer, well, that makes sense with not having your brother there. But from what I was told months ago from him, while he was in tears crying because he wouldn't have a place to live, is that you were trying to claim eminent domain and we're going to kick him out of his own house. He said you constantly treat him like shit. You treat him like a child in his own home. He was literally in tears. Now that's his side of the story. There, something, someone, something, grandpa, before he catches these hands. See, I, I don't know if they're in order, but let's see, Ellie Amanda, it's his dad, let's see, that grandpa is my uncle, oh, this is my, my cousin, Melissa, that grandpa is my uncle, you can watch your mouth a bit, don't you think, oh yeah, believe me, my family all told Ed how it was, they said, what the fuck is wrong with you, right, but he's going to try to say, <laughs> he's going to go around saying that, that I don't get along with people, that, that, that I'm embarrassed to come out of my house or something. That's just not true, Ed. It's a joke. Calm down, sweetheart. We don't need to show our teeth. No, th see, that's whoever Ella, Ellie Amanda is here. And then see Travis Hillier. Kudos to him. He said, I also saw you spray him in the face. So I'm not sure where this... I'm not sure what the, the order of the pages, but uh, let's see. Something for a pedophile. When I was six, I remember walking in on him, fucking a 16-year-old. That's a lie. That's an absolute lie. See, he just, he just, this is what he does. I remember my dad, um, he brought this, he brought this up and he said that my, that Ed was trying to say he remembers him walking in on a 16-year-old babysitter. And I, believe me, I don't remember anything of the sort ever being said at all, anything of the sort. And my dad was even questioning himself. He's like, he's like, I don't, I don't remember ever having anybody that, that he was thought, was, you know, because it's a lie. It's a fucking lie. Bold-faced lie. And you see what I mean? Ed Hofer, I thought you actually kept your cool pretty well. And like I said, anyone who wants to be mad can open their home to the rapist or shut the fuck up. Period. It's disgusting, the rape culture and rape apology in this country. So you see the effect that it has, right? You see the effect that it has when he used that? He used that. He used my daughter. He used... That's fucking horrible. He used a fucking victim. Used it to get sympathy and to, and to peddle his fucking lies. This, that's even... I'm sorry, but that's even... It's, it's, I don't know how you can get any more sick than that. Corruption of minors, two counts, engaging in welfare of children, indecent assault, person less than 13 years of age, indecent exposure, aggravated indecent assault with consent, two counts, aggravated indecent assault of a child, indecent assault without consent of other, two counts. See, and this is what he did. He turned the whole conversation about my other brother, right? It had nothing to do with his fucking PFA. Absolutely nothing to do with it. And it was a lie anyway. My dad wasn't trying to get my brother to move in there. That was a fucking lie. What it was, was they tried to say, this is our house, and he can't come back here. This, I wasn't even involved in the conversation, but, and I'm not being a fucking pedophile protector here at all, believe me. But my dad's house is his house. He can do whatever he wants with his house. That, that much is true. You can't, you know what I mean? You can't fucking just tell somebody what they're going to do with their own house. You know, they can do whatever they want with their own house that's within the laws. You know what I mean? And, and you, my dad had to get on fucking, he had a nervous, a mental, nervous breakdown over this shit years ago in 20, this has happened in 2013, the original shit. So this is my brother bringing this back up, what, seven years later? 
eight years later, that's when he decided to, 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 you know, drag my daughter's name through the fucking mud for his own problems. You know, I, I still, I, and I still have, <laughs> you know, I, like last night I, I said, you know, I'm glad you don't want to fight and all that, you know, and I was w- willing to not say another word about you at all, right? And then I see that fucking stream from Donovan and it just, dude, you just, you just lit the fire again. That's it. You know that determination fire you talked about? Yeah, you just you just really ignited the flame, Ed. Absolutely reignited the flame. And I made you a promise. I made you a promise of what I was going to do to you. Yes, I promised you what I was going to do to you if, if you fucking turn this around and mention my daughter. And I haven't delivered that promise yet, but I will. I promise you. It's not a threat. It's a promise. I promise you, Ed. And you know what? Nobody's going to have any fucking sympathy for you either, Ed. I promise. See, somebody knew what they were talking about. I don't think this is the appropriate way to handle this. You're better than this, Ed. Both of you guys are. And then Kimberly chimes in. Uh, Mihin Queen, whoever that is, maybe Dot can get him the real hope he needs. (laughs) You know, it's funny. Dot's the one that fucking called and reported this shit my understanding not taking sides just saying everyone including myself now knows you guys personal business it's not for everyone just saying I don't care what's going on but Facebook comments and such can be used if court right dot 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 he looks and sounds ill get him some doctor care see this is where whoever Doreen Farbaugh is well Doreen Farbaugh is pushing the narrative that my dad's crazy right See, something couldn't think of a more humane way to get him to stop attacking me. You, you think this is humane? How about you call the cops, Ed? Did you, did you call the cops if he was attacking you? You're a fucking liar, dude. You're sick in the head, you need help. Shana Lynn Thomas said, Ed Hofer, the water bottle may have worked. It wasn't, they said it was water. It wasn't water, it was cleaner may have worked that you do that to pets okay like a like an animal but she said the water bottle may have worked here but for the love of god if you are being attacked by someone who is trying to hurt you a spray from a water bottle will not help he wasn't being attacked (laughs) not at all that's just to keep him away from me you're in his house ed you were how long Till you have to be out since the PFA. Kimmy have any relatives you can stay with or your mom? And Ed said, now. Let's see. She said, Rose Dibler, just water. No, it wasn't just water. It was fucking, it was bug, sp- bug spray or whatever. Cleaner or something like that. I don't know. It's not bug spray. It's, yeah, it was cleaner. So they said here, it's kid and pet safe spray. Non-toxic. That doesn't mean you can spray them in the face with it. You gonna spray your kids in the face with that cleaner? biodegradable cruel, cruelty free it's cruelty free that doesn't mean that you can spray people in the face with it that's not the type of cruel that they're talking about it means that they didn't harm animals in the making of it okay that's what they mean by cruelty free you fucking weirdos oh he says well that's good <laughs> Let's see jake maureen he said ed hofer i never saw the pet and kid part on there I was just curious though ed said I would never do anything to hurt him. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing right now, Ed? What are you talking about? I couldn't think of a more humane way to get him to stop attacking me. Okay. Oh, there, look at that. There's Jimmy Grabowski. What do you know? Isn't that funny? He waved his hand to get it out of his face. Oh, so Jimmy was actually defending my dad here, I think. So props for that. I appreciate that. Jimmy, props for that. I Listen, I give credit where credit's due. I won't talk shit on Jimmy Grabowski and say something that's not true. You know what I mean? And I said about there being holes in my daughter's wall because there was holes in my daughter's wall. I'm not lying about that or making that up to try to get you to think Jimmy Grabowski's a creep. There were holes in my daughter's wall. And as simple as that, Jimmy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what you want me to say. Kayla says, sorry, Ed, but you definitely sprayed him in the face first. 
I sure did spray him in the face first, spray first, because he tried to push me aside to get at my equipment. Right before this, he says about yanking amp cables out. Oh, no. If you look close, he swings his hand up to my face first. See, see how he twists it all around. What did you spray him with? I love that. Okay, we read that. We read that already. This is just copies, I guess. We read that. We read that. That's not what eminent domain means anyway. Do you, don't you even know what eminent domain means, you fucking weirdos? This is where he just says... He says big words and thinks that he knows what they mean and thinks he's smart. He's, he's just one of, those, one, one of those fucking retarded people that didn't even graduate high school, never got their GED, has only worked, what, four years, five, six years of his adult life at all? That's it? Oh, this is the, the taxes. Yeah, the taxes on the house that he didn't, they didn't pay. They said they paid, but they didn't because they were going to try to steal it with the tax sale, the sheriff's sale. Yeah, that's, the, that's what that is. And let's see, that's more of the PFA. Oh, and then this is the one against Kimberly. So it's all the same shit. It's just there was no um, actual physical evidence against Kimmy, so they denied that one. So Kimmy and the kids spent the next 45 days terrorizing my dad while Ed sat outside in, in his van all day, every day. Sat in his van all day, every day. Okay, not every day, all day, but, but most of the time. Anytime Kimmy and the kids would go up there, he would just sit outside when he's not supposed to be there. You know, he'd just sit outside. Because he doesn't have a job, he didn't do anything else, he spent his time, what, probably his job working online as an online fucking paid troll, and probably making sure that, that they did whatever they needed to do during that 45 days to plant whatever fucking bugs in there, to plant whatever microphones and cameras and shit in there. Because to this day, they know when he's leaving and coming back, they know exactly when he leaves and comes back, and they probably go in that house. Well, not anymore, I have a camera there. So, and what's this guy here? All right, <clears throat> I had to do this real quick because I just noticed it's crazy with the the numbers thing again with the numbers thing. Okay. Right? <clears throat> so, I, but it's just I can, I have listen I have a bunch of videos about my brother that I didn't that I I did not post. I thought no, I'm you know what. I'm not going to do that, you know, because I, my point is just to, to get the truth out so people know the truth so that he can't go around making up lies, right? I don't wish to to cause him any extra, you know, I don't want people to think any less of him. I just, just with the minimum necessary to, to prove what I'm saying is true, right? Other than that, he can, he can make himself an asshole all he wants to do. He can do that all himself. I don't have to worry about that. People aren't blind. People people understand that like if if I ever did anything and and to take, you know, to call into question my credibility, then uh hey, show me. Show me what whatever you can use to to question my credibility. That's why I've never lied on my channel. I don't make up lies. Um I I admit when I'm wrong about something. I have no problem admitting um, if if I'm speculating about something or if I know it to be true or, or where I heard something, you know, and I have receipts. And I have a lot, lot more receipts where that came from. Believe me. So the, hard, the hardest part of this is not giving into it and not just posting everything and, and having spite, you know, spite and envy and all that. I just, it's not in my heart. I can't do that. It's not in me to do that. There's something, 
some reason, I don't know why, but I just can't bring myself to do that. Even the people that have wronged me, like, like majorly, right? People who have fucking majorly, majorly wronged me, my reputation, and caused me actual hardships in my life. I still, for some reason, can't bring myself to fucking, to do something that's going to cause them, you know, to have a negative, negative impact on their life. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I have a conscience, you know what I mean? I'm not fucking saint. I'm not a saint. I'm not, uh, so I'm sorry if, if you feel that way that I come off as being a saint or something. I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to, to make it look like I'm just this nice guy and everything. No, it's just that that's me. That's just really me. I don't have it in me to do that. Put yourself in my shoes, right? Now that everybody knows that I've been telling the truth the whole time, that Jesus Christ is my brother, right? And uh, along with Pat and Perps and fucking X and all these other sock accounts, Pat and Karens and, you know, I don't know for sure, 100%, that they're all Ed. But I do know that he knows who it is. Because if it's not him, then he knows he knows it's somebody else. And, and you can guarantee he probably talked to that person uh, he was talking to Nerve Gorilla behind the scenes. They they do stupid shit to try to fuck with me, right? I know that much to be true, so... So... It might not... If if they're not my brother... Like, well, Jesus Christ obviously was. He said... How many times did he say? I'm, I'm Seriously, I'm not your brother, dude. Get help, right? How many times did he say that? Right? And then what do you know? It is him. What do you know? But... But Ed goes on Donovan's stream, right? Did he say anything about... Virginia had a good point here. Did he say anything about sorry for doing that? No, no he, ain't, he isn't sorry. Obviously, he's up to it again. It's the exact same thing. Now, I don't care about the fucking... The lies don't bother me. They can say whatever they want. They can think whatever they want about me. I don't care. I really don't care. But I see him going around in actual, like, people believing what he's saying, you know, and then actually spreading that again, you know, like people, I, like, I have no idea why Brandon Q says I'm a perp. No idea. There's nothing, like, when I see somebody calling me a perp, but no, I don't see why they're doing it. I have no idea why they're calling me a perp. That's what I have a problem with. You know, if you, if you, if you have a good reason, you know what I mean? You want to call me a perp, hey, you're allowed to do, do whatever you want. Like, just like Conspiracy Under, Underground said, he had a lot of good points there. And, and I, I told him what I, you know, what my position is in the comments. I told him that. That's between me and him. Right? And I'm going to take down the, the videos, the thumbnails, the thumbnails. I'm going to take down the thumbnails that say, you know, he's a perp or whatever. But I'm going to leave the rest up because it's just my, it's, how, it's, it's just how I see it. I call it how I see it. And it's okay to do that. We have to do that for each other because he's opened my eyes to a few, few different things. Conspiracy Underground has opened my eyes to a few different things. I'd like to think that I've opened his eyes to a few things too. I'd like to think that. I don't know if he'll admit that, but, it, but either way, you know, I'm human. I make mistakes. I'll admit when I'm wrong. So when it, whenever it seems like somebody's coming on and they're... Anytime that we talk about each other, calling each other perps, right? We, a lot of times we have valid arguments, you know? Like it seemed to me, like he came on and did a stream about being bad parents, about bad parenting, as an, an attempt to get me off of YouTube. To make me feel bad, make me feel ashamed, Right? And to gaslight me into thinking that uh, all my problems is me. It's something I'm doing wrong, right? Not the gang stalkers or the perps. No, no, don't look at them. It's my fault, right? <laughs> and I just think that's hilarious. That's, that's outrageous, you know? And that's why I can't see why a TI would do that, right? So that's where I don't agree with uh, if, you're, if you're mad, if you're butthurt, if you're spiteful, don't make a video about somebody calling them a perp because you're butt hurt, right? Because they made you look bad or something. Don't I wouldn't do that. And I, I didn't do that because of spite or anything. I just called it how I saw it. Like to me it seemed like he was just saying stuff to try to convince his viewers of what he was saying is true. 
And again, he could have just been seeing things, calling it how he saw it, right? It's not like he's saying stuff like Donovan and Ed were doing here. Donovan and Ed were sitting there just fucking making up lies to convince, to try to, you know, influence people to believe something that isn't true. They're just fucking bullface, just making up weird lies. And that's, that's totally fucking wrong. I ask Donovan questions, he won't answer them. And then he tries to claim that uh, I won't come on his panel, right? No, I tried. You shut the fucking stream down. And then you privated it. And then you told everybody I had you blocked. I checked. I didn't have you blocked. I never had you blocked here This after the first time I blocked you. I didn't have you blocked. I have no reason to lie about that. So, so this is what I've seen this happen in other TIs too, where they, they claim that, oh, somebody has me blocked. Somebody has me blocked. And then they talk a bunch of shit about them. But really, they, they are censoring the other person. And they just say that, you know? It's not, you know, the viewer would naturally think that they're telling the truth because why would somebody lie about that and come on it? You know what I mean? But this is the sick, weird fucking manipulation ga- games and tactics that they play. It's, they, they learned it somewhere, I'm telling you. They learned it somewhere. They didn't all just pick this up. This is not natural human behavior. They didn't just pick this up and they just all kind of do the same thing because it's common sense or something. No, they fucking... This is clearly by the book. You know, this is obviously part of a script or whatever, a structure manual. You want, you want to see it? I have the Truth Stream Media. It's a very big channel. Truth Stream Media did a whole video on this. They showed every fucking slide. And it was leaked in 2014, right? And the way everything happened here... Um, my brother Ed was probably would have been working as a paid troll. He quit his job, like I said, at the very latest 2010. I think it might have been 2009 or something. Yeah. The job that he claimed I got fired from for pa- fucked up on drugs. That's a lie. Bold faced lie. So that was the last time he worked a full time job. Except for when he worked for the. The special needs people, you know, for six months till he quit. But it, has he been doing this since then? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a long time. Does that would explain why he refused, absolutely refused, to file for pandemic unemployment assistance? You know, you were eligible. If you've never worked a day in your life, you you still could have been eligible for that. You know, depending on your situation and with COVID. But he, re- he absolutely refused. He wouldn't do it. He's seen everybody around him getting all this money. And he wouldn't do it. Why is that? He didn't want to talk about it either. Strange, right? He would never come to my apartment at all. Right? He wouldn't step foot in my apartment. Like, he's not allowed to talk to me. Whenever I went to him and said that, that he might have been right about conspiracies and that maybe that's why he's being targeted. I said, maybe this is what you're going through. Maybe you're targeted too. I don't know. But are you experiencing this stuff? And, dude, it was like a fucking 30-second conversation. I watched him. He scrambled, didn't know what to fucking do, and he fucking ran away. And that's whenever I knew. The way he acted whenever I said that, because I already suspected him. But I didn't... There was nobody in town at all that admitted to watching my videos. As far as I knew, nobody in town at all knew my channel existed at all, okay? So I went and talked to my brother, right, about this, and he never, he didn't admit to watching my videos at all. He got uncomfortable and fucking took off. He gave himself away. He pretty much told me (laughs) everything I needed to know. He pretty much told me that he was involved in it too. It made sense. I suspected him for a while because they would always have, they would have, his kid would call my kid and have him come down. And then I tried an experiment one time. And I said, all right, Ben, um, when you go down there, I said, leave your phone here. I said, when you get down there, I said, I, I don't want to be right about this. I said, believe me, I don't want to be right and think that they're just using you to, to keep a hold of my network, like to hack the device. I said, but this is just, just a test. Just see what happens. I said, go ahead and go down to hang out with your cousins, you know. I said, but don't be surprised if you get down there and they find out you don't have your phone on you and they tell you to leave. 
And wouldn't you know, he went down there and they did it, exactly that thing. That's exactly what they did, right? I felt horrible. I felt so bad for, for my kid because they're, they're sitting there using him, making him think that they're like his buddies, you know what I mean? Like his friends, his cousins, his first fucking cousins. We're, we're doing this, knowingly involved in this and doing this. They would, every time I would reset my network or do something stupid, right? They would have my son come down with his phone and they'd do something to that phone or whatever they did that they needed to do that every time to, to regain control of my network. How, like, I'm convinced of this. I'm absolutely convinced of this. Like I said, I did do these little experiments and I did this. And what, what are the odds that I'm right about that, right? What are the odds that they, they called out of nowhere and wanted him to come hang out? And then, I, and then he went. And then they told him, never mind, go home. Because I told him to leave his phone. I knew it was going to happen. I knew they were going to do that because I knew what they wanted. They wanted, they just wanted to use him to get access to my fucking network. It's so fucking obvious. I don't know if anybody else experienced something like this. Where you suspect people of being a part of it and they always find excuses to get within your vicinity, Right? They just have to be within your vicinity. I've seen with my own eyes the phone, a phone that just clones the phone closest to it. I've seen it. It, it went from a fucking Android to an iPhone right, right in front of me. Dude, right in front of me. I've seen this, okay? I believe, and, and to my understanding, uh, the person had got it off somebody, and they figured it, it, was a, it was their narc phone. Like, it was given to them, provided to them by the authorities. It was like a confidential informant, right? So I believe the authorities are using this shit. That's what they, you know, whatever technology it is, they've been using it for a long time. So that's, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty uh, convenient, isn't it? That's, that'd be a pretty nice tool to have, right? Where you send a confidential informant in and you don't have to give them a camera. You don't have to give them a wire. You don't have to have, have, you know, surveillance team watching them or anything. You just send them in with this device and it just copies the fucking device of the, the information from the people that they want, right? Just takes all the device. They just get it all, right? That's, that's breaking the rules a little bit, I'd like to say. A little bit, <laughs> just a little bit breaking the rules, you know? But that's what they're doing. I, I 100% believe that, 100%. And then certain places they have strategic... Uh, uh, stingray devices placed and I have a picture of one right they came from somebody I suspected as being an arc being a part of this I have a picture of the device I got a picture of it from in his apartment right they have Xfinity router right the, the real nice secured gateway router from Xfinity right but they had this other ubiquity of device attached to it and somebody with a fucking label maker right they labeled the different spots on it there was a spot for a gps plug and it said um staging access point staging ap staging access point okay I, what else could that mean staging access point the staging ap and the person who was a narc right who the only person who had the you know the password and the control of this network was somebody who got in trouble was a narc Right, was staying there at this house. They had control of the whole thing, you know, one person and one person only. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's I I guarantee there's more I could give you about this, but I'm 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 100 convinced that uh, I figured out all their stupid bullshit. Right, the Cambridge County Drug Task Force was using. Right, and I would like tell people like, uh, you know, hey, I. From what I can see, they're they're watching this building real bad. Um, they they have my phone hacked. You know, I saw the shit on my computer about switch control. Somebody looked it up on my browsing history. My browsing history. I didn't look it up, but I saw that it was it was already clicked on. It was a link that was already clicked on on my fucking computer. So I was curious. I was like, well, so what is that? You know, obviously I found it there because somebody was you know, accessing my computer and they, they looked up, they did a Google search on my account, on my computer, somehow. But they looked up how to exit switch control in full screen mode. So think about it, how to exit switch control while in full screen mode. So if your device, your phone, 
is actually the device of another phone. Full screen mode. How do you get out of it? Right? You're actually accessing the other person's phone. Full, full screen. You get it? So you're accessing another person's device with switch control. And you're in full screen. You don't know how to get out of it, right? You'd have to look it up on Google, wouldn't you? So they didn't think about that, though. That, that they're looking it up on Google on my account because it's my phone, right? That they're accessing. So that's when I found that in my fucking search search results or whatever. I was, I was like, oh, my God, I, I got freaked out. That's the beginning of this. I didn't know, you know, somebody was doing that. Somebody, right? When I had looked up switch control and learned what it was, you know, I told Nerve Gorilla what it was. And in, in, in the uh, video that's on my channel, Nerve Gorilla in the Mist, right? It's me in voice with Nerve Gorilla for a, over an hour almost talking to him. And I, I explained a bunch of this to him. And he just kind of blew, he just kind of explained it all away. And then said, don't talk to cops. And this is whenever I had charges pending and shit. And they were trying to, they tried to kill me once and they pressed charges against me before they pressed charges against me again and he claimed that he saw a pretty extensive criminal record he saw an extensive criminal record on me too how come i haven't seen this where, where can i find this at why is it that everybody else seen this criminal record about me but i haven't you know anybody anybody want to help me out with that my brother said he showed conspiracy underground how to find it right so if he showed and that's whenever Conspiracy Underground came out with a video saying that I must be a perp on probation, right? Working. I mean, it all makes sense now. It all makes perfect sense now. I get it. I would have thought the same thing probably. If somebody, if somebody was claiming to be like a, a targeted individual coming on and they showed me like, you know, Conspiracy Underground's criminal record and said he was on probation for, and showed a bunch of a fake criminal record, criminal background, Showing that I got in trouble for a bunch of bullshit they just made up, right? Well, I would think that he's a perp too, wouldn't I? Because there's obviously fucking fake TIs all through the fucking community. But what am I trying to influence anybody to do, you know? I mean, it shouldn't take long before you realize that that was some bullshit. It shouldn't, anyway. I mean, my intentions are true and they're clear. I, I want this shit to fucking end and stop. And I'm calling out real people. Real people involved. Not the boogeyman. Right? Not religion and spiritual, spiritual fucking spirituality. And not the Freemasons. Right? I'm not blaming it on aliens. Okay? It's people doing this. They're, they're all clearly involved. It's hard to believe that they're completely mind controlled to the point where they don't even know what the fuck they're doing. Sorry. They got to be involved. They got to know what they're doing. They have the power of choice. This is a big fucking game. Psychological manipulation. And they're just all complicit. They're all completely fine with lying. They are all completely fine with lying. At this point, I don't think it's, it's they want me you know they don't want to destroy my life so much as they they got to preserve their own now after what they've they you know after what they've already agreed to what they've already done at this point it's self-preservation is the only reason they continue doing it i i truly believe that because a lot of people that were involved in this that were doing it um maybe they didn't do their job right or whatever they were involved but they had gotten in trouble and then subsequently would end up going to jail it seems like in a in a such a way that it seems like they got punished, right? Because they didn't do their job right. So, yeah, that's whenever I say a bunch of people that have come after me or come, you know, have done this shit to me, something bad has happened to them. Well, that could be, that could be because they didn't fulfill their end of the bargain, right? They did it to my ex-wife. They smeared her name all over the fucking news and shit. It was totally unnecessary. And they basically told told like a news story saying that she was an arc they basically straight up said according to a statement obtained by the police um by ashley hofer you know a statement given to the police by ashley hofer written by ashley hofer so she wrote a statement on somebody that's what that's what that news story said five years prior to that five years prior to that right 
she was two counties over, had absconded probation in two different counties, and they didn't go after her all that time. They knew right where she was at. They didn't go after her all that time. They didn't care. Like, like why is that, right? Because she was fucking working for them. It's so plain to see. Fucking even, even nerd girl, I could figure it out. You know, he he wouldn't sit down long enough to present all this information to him because I think he wouldn't be able to deny all this. And he knows that. So there's no way he would set himself up for a situation where where he would be presented all this information and then actually deny it openly because that would destroy his credibility, right? He knows what not to what not to go after and what to you know, what he can ridicule and what he can't. Because he's probably been doing this for a long time. He's probably in a witness protection program from from the story that he told about the the thing that happened with the with the murderer in the apartment building. Um, you know, you know what I mean. And if that happened, that's a story like that happened, right? Well, isn't that how that works, right? If you're a witness, if you're a witness, they put you in the witness protection program, and don't they give these people new uh, identities? And they give them jobs, don't they? Isn't that how that works? And isn't it funny that uh, Glendale, you're around here, is a gated community that's been known to be a a place where they harbor, uh, you know, people in the witness protection program. And you know, I would I would normally not really disclose that on my YouTube channel if it wasn't for their total disregard and lack of fucking care in the world what they do to other people you guys still have a choice i don't care if you're in witness protection or not you can say no you don't have to do this it's not like you know what i mean you can say you just open your lips and you let the words come out no you say no right and i don't care what obligations you have you have the power of choice you can say no so the fact that you guys still want to do this or whatever, if you do this, then I'm sorry. You only have yourselves to blame. Don't blame me, you know, for talking about something, right, that I just happen to figure out on my own. It's not like I, it's not like I promised to keep secrets. No. Sorry, I just figure shit out. I just look at the situation, call it how I see it, figure shit out, and I speak my mind on YouTube so everybody can hear it real loud. And I believe I've uncovered quite a bit of shit, bullshit, and stopped a lot of fuckery from happening. And I'm going to keep doing it. I found my purpose. It is my purpose. So you can purpose all you want. I found my purpose. So, with that being said... Be good or be good at it. Peace out.